Uh, are we live? Are we live? Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration, wherein we have most of our resources uh, that we were bringing up by cargo rocket being sent up by train now. We've got a, what is it? Six, twelve left to go. I'm not too worried about the tech cards for a while. Uh, I actually did do uranium already. Oh, that's right. We wanted to work on um, cover X. I basically, probably for the most part, want to just take the uranium processing system we've got uh, and put these two into one block. Um, and then we can have better decision making without a long piece of wire. Um, and not have a train pick up the 238 to put it back into cover X. Um, okay, so first thing I'd like to do, I think... Well, let's get back down on the ground, first of all. Um, get some of this space-only stuff out of my inventory. Uh, I guess I'll keep a stack of life support... Take that space belt out of here. I guess the pipes aren't strictly space only, but whatever. And that'll do for... Why do I have a research server? It will forever be a mystery. Anyway, back down we go. As we slowly research and set a capacity bonus. Uh, not really worried about the rate of research for now. We keep building the foundations for the rest of the base. Where's our elevator? Here we go. Oh, I need to remember to bring our construction train back over here. Finish off some of those bits of uh, scaffolding and solar panels that I hadn't put down before. I think... Oh, here we go. Can I get a little blueprint for this? I was going to say I think that would be in range for all of them, but apparently not. I also need to get rid of the old power poles. Alright, let's park yourself here after that one. I'm sure that's way more than enough time. And about here, I guess. 60 seconds is probably too much, to be honest. Why is it resetting the time past when I do that? Oh, I haven't put a substation here yet. Let's do that. Lighted pylon substation. Uh, and I guess... Oh, the that's nice. The, uh, the substations do reach. Wait, let's make this inactivity. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Uh, inactivity. Stay here until we're done. We don't need these old power poles. This one's fine, although the scaffolding is no longer required. And this one. Let's grab that one blueprint. Oh, wait. No, let's grab this blueprint. And then we'll build around it. So we can see where things fit. Beautiful. That one's already done.
Fantastic. Alright, we'll come back for the rest later on. Um, I guess I should just jump into the editor. I probably blueprinted these. Well, let's get rid of all of this stuff that we were working with before. Fraser K, Boovim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That does not remove the scaffolding. What do you mean? What doesn't? This is taking longer than expected. I guess it is like seven or so city blocks. 1.3k uh, chain signals. What I don't understand is why every train has to repath uh, 1.3 thousand times apparently on top of whenever we remove a signal all trains have to repath on every surface. Underneath the pylon. Um, the pylon doesn't need the scaffolding, so the bots should pick it up. Can we ever move again? Here we go. Let's have a look. Um, should already be done. Huh. That's weird. Alright, I guess I'll have to come back to that. Anyway. Uh, what were we going to do? Oh yeah, cover X. And I might design it with a wide area beacon in mind. Basic blocks. We've got basic uranium here. And cover X is next. And as I said before, I basically just want to combine them in one block. Like I kind of should have done in the first place. Looks like we've already laid it out so that we can wide beacon. Fantastic. And this one as well. Cool. So we're just going to bring this over here and touch it up a bit, basically. Um, but for now, let's give it some prod threes. How much trouble is it for me to actually make a wide area beacon at this stage? Uh, let's see. Wide beacon. Oh, that's right. I haven't made engi uh, energy control units yet. Energy control unit is pretty straightforward, to be honest. Um, I might just make a few of those in the mall, if we can. Actually, wouldn't it work with prod modules? Let's find out. How many things does it go into? 19. Including Singularity Fuel Cell. Hmm. It's looking like the fuel cell is probably going to be the only thing that isn't an occasional build, like mall stuff. But if we can prod it... Oh, it also goes into Holmium Accumulator. Alright, we'll definitely be... What the? Uh, we'll definitely build, be building that at scale. Can we prod module it? We can. Um... So I'll do a proper build for these. It's just four in, one out. I can probably copy a layout for that from somewhere. But for the moment, we're not going to need that many. And let's do requester and provider. And make a stack of those. Assuming that we have Imosite Crystal being delivered, 
to the mall, which we don't. Um, it's not enough available to trigger an LTN delivery right now. We need more Immersite. But just so that I don't have to remember it for later. Um, so we're doing one long train of stuff here. Crystal. It was crystal, right? Stack size 50. That'll be 4,000. And... That's already connected. Fantastic. Double check that that's actually what we need. Immersite crystal. Alright, and we're going to need to tap into another Immersite mine. Preferably on this planet, though there are a few. Uh, I wonder why we're not getting... Crushed Immersite. I guess it ran out. Yep. Um, I can get a train to pick up what little there is over here. Um, I mean, it's probably going to... As much as there's more Immersite lying around, it's probably going to be more of a pain to get it from here, just because I have to remote control build it all. Then again, I'd probably remote control build it here as well. Uh, all right, let's do a search. Okay, uh, Immersite. Immer... Raw Immersite as entity. Does that work? There we go. Oh, there's actually one pretty close. 192,000. And it's by far the biggest one for relatively close by. All right. Easy choice. And... Is this empty? Pretty much. Wait, no it's not. It's not even a little bit empty. Uh, okay, I guess we're not moving that out of the way just yet. Huh. It's kind of weird that the mine is completely gone, but we've got such a large amount of material waiting to be picked up still. Uh, anyway, let's bring our highway down this way. Uh, where is our highway block? Here it is. What? Down we go. Fat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's find somewhere to put a train stop. Guess I could put one here. Cannon chest. Some belts. I wish this wasn't blocked. Oh, let's just do it like this. And loader. And I'll have to limit these two. And we don't need this rail right now. Blacklist trees and rocks. On the decon. And probably get these out of the way. Just to be sure. There we go. Uh, and then a substation. And that should pretty much do it. Let's get our construction train. Actually, I'll ride the construction train. 
because we'll want to push it forward manually. Sigma Bean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We're going to Wallace and Gromit this thing. All right. Construction train, park yourself over here, please. And then I'll drive it manually. Fantastic. Oh, we're almost there already. Manual. And turn my own RoboPod on. Do I not have rail? Give me some rail. Down we go. Just a few more blocks. Should probably be enough. Yep, looks like it is. Fantastic. Uh, let's limit these to 40 stacks each. And why is this one not powered? Because it's not powered. Alright, cool. We're just going to look for these two. Uh finite resource. Probably doesn't matter. And provide stack threshold 80. Long trains only. That should be fine. Raw emisite provider. And that should be all it takes. So how much is this? 192,000. It does not take long for these drills to drill it all away either. So I definitely want to give it some prod modules. I mean, I would probably do that even if they were slow. Since there's not that much emisite on this planet. And last but not least, we put in some signals. That looks pretty good. And... Could I perhaps get this train to park over here? With no wait time. Wait, it says... Huh? Uh, could I get you to park here with no wait time and not pick up any random emisite? Uh-oh. No, it doesn't seem to be picking up anyway. Uh, but yeah, the train is actually too long. I'll just back it up this way. And hope that we don't have a train waiting. I guess it'll be waiting on the other side of the roundabout. Fantastic. Alright, back we go. And I'm going back to the mall for now. Let's refresh. Okay. I should probably copy that, uh, that logic that I added upstairs. Um, like this. Over here. And then this was times... Times one. All these three are times negative one. That takes... Train contents. And this goes down here. And these could probably be regular filter inserters, because we don't want to have a larger stack size than one. 
Set filters whitelist. Uh, I also need a constant combinator to say don't actually pick up the construction bots. I think that would have been. Yeah. And then we figure out why it's picking up everything else. Oh, right, I see. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and it should only remove stuff that doesn't belong. Though only one item at a time. How is there still stone in there if it went through the emptier first? Oh, probably bots brought it back after there was room. That makes sense. Nice. Okay. Um, Immersite crystal is waiting on fluid, is waiting on... There it is. Crushed immersite, raw immersite. Here comes the fluid. I think I checked and we can't prod this. Yep. Alright, we'll leave that running for a bit. Back to Covrex plus uranium. Um, I think I would like to make this as symmetrical as I can if possible. So... If this goes here, then this goes here. Let's copy paste this. I'm not going to flip it. That's not quite where I want it. 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, this is a lot wider than this build is. It's probably fine. Do I want to change anything about this cover X setup while we're at it though? Not gonna have any overlap here. I could move these down two tiles, that's actually perfect to keep everything in line. Except the substations, I guess. Oh yeah, we, we don't have to use substations anymore. I might just... Well, I'm, I'm doing this again from scratch, so why don't we actually make it fit the way I'd like? No more smelly old... Big power poles and substations. Don't worry about these for now. I guess I'll have to get some... some resupply from space down to the local mall. That's actually still off by one tile. Oh, it's not the same number. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay, so I wanted to have my lungs like so. Uh, obviously we'll have to move this over a bit. And then this is all looking pretty good to me. It's just prod modules. Oh, and this should be a wide area beacon one. Wide area bacon, tier one. Let's get some prods. Uh, probably easier if I use the module inserter. Except that just requests it from bots, even if we're in map editor mode. Uh, okay. 
I could set up bots to supply them, but I think this will be easier. And this is all just regular old uranium. That part's looking neat enough. Uh, except... Obviously this part's going to change. We'll send all the 235 from uh, processing straight to Coverex. And we'll send all the 238. Maybe through a splitter. Some of it goes here, some of it goes to Coverex, depending on how much 235 we have. Do I want to reshape this? I don't think so. I think this is a pretty nice build. That part's negotiable. Okay. How neatly can we fit this here? That looks pretty good to me. In fact, that's actually pretty symmetrical. Two tiles gap here, two tiles gap here. Oh, except it's like pushed to the right because there's a station over here. Kind of works out though. Kind of works out perfectly. If 235 backs up, there's no chance it could stall 238. Uh, well, the problem before was we had... Uh, with the current build, we have tons of 238 waiting here, doing nothing. Uh, waiting to go into cover X, while we don't actually have enough 238 to go into other things. Uh, and we're totally saturated, or we were totally saturated, on uranium-235. What kind of modules do we need for... Let's put this up here, where we can avoid blueprinting it. Uh, what kind of modules do we need for a good rate here? We can do 19 per second with no speeds. Um, we've got triple red belt here, that's like 90 per second. Let's just see what this looks like. With tier threes, not too much power consumption. That's the trouble with tier 3s though. Uh, you can't actually have that much more speed for the same... Oh yes you can, plus 60%. Plus 80% and we're minus 50% power consumption. I think I'll go for the plus 60% with minimum power consumption. So we'll have another one of these over here. And... Rod 3, all of these. Oh, I only have 32. No, I have lots. Uh, looks like we got them all. Fantastic. So, what kind of rate does this look like? 50 watt, uh, consumes 51 ore per second. I think that's probably more than enough for a while. 5.89238 per second, and a little slither of 235, of course. And the stone and iron will get where the stone and iron needs to. Um, just to be super lazy... I'm going to put some uranium in here right now. Whoa, hello. Um, because it'll kind of be easier to see where the resources are going. Just an easy way to visualize it. Um, I'll just double check all the machines individually. Very, very slow. We don't need faster inserters. We also don't need a random substation.
Oh, there's a little bit of every resource coming through. And I want... Uh, 238. I might bring 238 down here, even. So we have more room the way I want to design this. 235. Okay, so we'll have a splitter. Wait, where's splitter? There we go. Maybe I should just do a blue belt here. Uh, this is 238, right? Yes, good, fantastic. Overall rate should be low enough that this is fine. And I want to either... Hmm. I think I want to compare 235 and 238. And if we swap the... Uh, the colors on the wires on one side, that'll be easiest. Um, so red wire here, green wire here, and then both of those. The only trouble with the substation pylons is I don't have a convenient way to connect the wires here. It's not going to reach, is it? Not even close. Could put the decision making back this way somewhere. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um. Put the splitter right here, and 238 is going to go to where 235 is if... It'd be nice if that would fit. Let's see where these both can reach without adding too much. Uh, lots of places, actually. And I was muted, whoops, my bad. Uh, so we're just going to compare 235 and 238 and send 238 up to CoverX if there's more 238 than 235 in the train stops. Which means I got this backward. There we go. And as for the rest... We'll go up here. That's slightly inconvenient. It's literally one tile off max distance. It's probably fine. It's the same number of undergrounds regardless. Um, I probably want to just do a shared belt here, actually. 
So... I think I want all of the 235 to make its way over here. Let me move that over a tile. Do it like this. Then... Did I break it? No, I think we're good. Oh, the only trouble with this is... If we were starting from a small amount, it wouldn't be a good way to start it. But we're not starting from a small amount. So I guess it's fine. That's in the way. That's kind of in the way. Um... About down here, I guess. Okay. So we're sending literally all of our 235... Um, up here. Until we get Coverex outputting. And if we ever have more 235 than 238, uh, we're going to block this off until that's not the case and the train stops. Sand output from Coverex. Uh, it's actually stone, but yeah, I need to do that. Stone goes over here. Stone iron... Uh, is it just stone on these belts? I think it is. And we'll just shove it into that chest. Which might be easier if we send it up this way. And a little bit neater. Actually, why don't I do like a... Kind of a zigzaggy belt here. And you know what? We can afford blue belts. It's fine. Unless Red Belt reaches that anyway. Nah. Um, and these ones can go down here. And just bring the stone back this way. It'll get sent over here. Okay. Um, come to think of it, except in the rare case that a couple of 235s go past this inserter, not quite next to each other, um, which I guess has happened three times already, I guess this would accelerate by itself. Um, but that said... I should probably feed the 235 from here into here. If we're going to bother with a proper accelerating system. Or I could turn these around. Just like we did with this belt sneaking through. Um, a Mr. B game? And Jacobaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How did this get in here as well? Oh, Splitter, right. Kind of.
Um, okay. So we obviously need this to go a bit faster for testing purposes. Let's go with some 235. Straight into there. And this one will take 235 once both of these machines are functional. There we go. That works. And I think we just limit each of these chests to a little bit of 238. That should work fine. Alright, let's wait for that to saturate. I'm pretty sure this works though. Should we just build it? Maybe. Yeah, I think this is probably fine. Alright. I kind of want all of it to be blue belt as well, just for consistency's sake. Blue belt only... Build it out, fix it in prod later if any issues, says every software developer ever. Well, the thing is, I've built this and tested it before. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's blueprint this thing. Over Rex. Uh, actually, I'll put this and cover X, because that's what we're doing. Uh, uranium processing plus cover X. Green stop names, yes. 86251. Should be able to rotate it. Fantastic. And that can go in here. Alright. Let's see. Uh, I think I want to dismantle the existing one, to be honest. Where's our uranium build? I might want to get the construction train to do it, though. Oh, this is actually empty right now. That's good. Um, these have no prod bonuses, so we're not losing anything if we pick all this up. Get rid of the red belts. Actually, just... Can I just upgrade plan to the blue belts? Might be better. This part's a little bit different. Those can all be blue. And we want to change this mess. As for old cover X, uh, let's stop requesting. And we'll see if we can just drop our blueprint on this. Should be able to. There'll probably be some wires missing. Oh yeah, I didn't take into consideration that we need the uh, vanilla pickups as well. Alright, construction train. Please park yourself over here. Wait for a minute of inactivity. And I'll need to go get some substation pylons. Get rid of this old mess. 
Actually, could you wait there for a while, please? Alright, off we go. So, JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Red wire for the right loader, good point. And right. And we'll go get some substations. I guess I technically could have sent the construction train from above through the space elevator to bring us the goods. But uh, this'll do. Give me some more lighted pylons, lighted pylon substations, and back down we go. I think your blueprint for uranium plus coverings has some infinity items in it. Oh, there's like one. I think there's the uh, uh, infinity loader because I was putting 235 in into coverings to make it go faster. Oh, and the uh, chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. We can't actually build that by accident. So, nothing to worry about there. Fix the blueprint before we forget, though. Fantastic. Uh, let's put down some pylons. Beautiful. What's this train doing? I think it's going to be here a while. That's probably fine. Alright, let's get rid of these... Uh, wire connections. Put in the red ones. That should be set to not output anything. That seems fine. Uh, and I guess we'll want red wire over here as well. And same settings, but for uranium-238 over here. And that'll have to use... Well, it doesn't have to use red wire. But I feel like it may as well. Set train limit. 238. If there's more than 8k. And 120 provides stack threshold. Uh, in other words, this has to be full for an LTM train to pick it up. Cool. And of course I'll need to go get a couple of wide area beacons. Let's see if we've got... No, Immersite Crystal. Can we get some Immersite Crystal? I could just pick them up. Or better yet, how about this? Make sure that's going to the mall. Why are there two of them? Oh, I see. And it is indeed going to the mall. Perfect. One of the advantages of having these big provide thresholds is there's always some available when we really need it. It's kind of stupid that the spillivator is instant, but I can see why the programmer wouldn't want to touch the alternatives if it's not essential. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do instead, like uh, a separate surface for like a highway for the inside of the space elevator, maybe? Alright, let's prod these things. I think I'm going to run out of prods. Got 80 left, actually. And then we need a bunch more. Oh. Actually.
actually the construction train brought them. Nice. Alright, so that's already maximum fraud coverings. Um, I could put a little something here, actually. Uh, we're going to enable disable U235 has to be equal to 4. And read contents hold. So basically, this thing has to be saturated before this thing gets any more 235. Spaceships are a separate surface, have each elevator cable a 10,000 distance rail track surface, makes it not instant and a journey, maybe some danger on the way for breaking the cable or track. Uh-oh. Um, so I need to move all of this, but there is the minor detail that it is lethal to me. How about... We do a few temp belts over here. And I don't know, just put it here. Oh, the construction train left. And I've got no blue undergrounds. Rude. Very rude. Give me some more, please. There we go. Alright, so that should be all of our old 235 draining out of ye old coverex. The benefit of the spaceship surface is that you already know what you're creating. That specific spaceship already being read by the ship's controller. Indeed. Um, the only other thing here is stone. Are we still running this coverex? A little bit? Actually, like, a quarter of it. Hmm... Uh, why don't we... Ouch. 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 Why don't we put this 235... Oh, I guess it doesn't actually matter. It goes back to the same place regardless. Wait, where was... This going? Up here. Oh, that makes sense. I guess. Um, I guess I can just make all of these unconditional. And that'll output the rest. Ouch. Could you start with the radioactivity? Fantastic. If I let all the 238 down here, I think I should just get it out this way. Where's the input? There it is. Um, that should work itself out. If I just shove it onto this belt. Wouldn't unconditional be an issue for reloading? Oh, I want to empty this coverex. This is the old coverex build. Um, but I don't really want to interrupt the 
recipes that are already in progress or anything. And I don't want to pick all of this up by hand, of course. Alright, how much have we got left here? Not that much. Fantastic. Did we get any... We need lithium sulfur batteries. Wait, we don't have those in the mall? Oh, we will soon. Got plenty of them. Lithium sulfur battery... Stacks to the same size. Oh, the bots are still emptying this emesite crystal. Why do we have enriched vulcanite here, I wonder? Probably from a rocket crash or something. Oh, regardless, the batteries are arriving. And now we can finally get a few energy control units. Which we need for wide area beacons. We also need one energy catalog for each of them. It's a little bit harsh, but I think if I just take some multiple of 10 up... Uh, the space mall will be able to get them built. Will dumping dull rocks onto the actual rocks belt cause issues? Dull rocks? Um, I don't think so, because... They all find their way back to this container where everything gets filtered. Um, and cycled back in. In fact, I could probably put literally everything through there. It would have the same result. Hey, there we go. It's pretty much empty. So, come to think of it, Oh, thought that might happen. Come to think of it, I can just do this. Did you want to fix that red loader under the normal uranium processing? Red loader. Uh, probably, yeah. Also get rid of this cheat item right here that we can't build. Alright, blue belts only... And I think we're good. So we'll follow this bit of uranium and stone. All goes through here, down here, and into the filter everything out of this chest chest. Oh. It's going to take quite a while, I think, for this train to be full. Uh, then again, it looks like we actually have our coverex system here going at full speed already. So we're looking at about... 11.2 uranium per second? Is that right? Does that mean this little inserter can't keep up? Wait, and that's without the beacon? Oh no, it's net. Okay, net. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, net 0.41 uranium 235 per second. That's more than, uh, more what I would have expected. Um, I dare say this doesn't need a stack size of one. 
Uh, I dare say a filter inserter could keep up with that, but there's really no reason for this one to be a filter inserter. Okay, so there should be just a little bit of 235, uh, 238 rather, in each of these chests. Doesn't take much to saturate them. Why is there not 238 up here? Because we're blocking this bit of belt. Uh, that wasn't that smart. We we'll probably just remove it. I mean, it's already saturated, so we can definitely just remove this now. And that's pre-beacon point four. Indeed, it is. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just leave this in place, and we'll pick up all the machines once all of these inserters have stopped moving and stuff. Also, this could probably have no filter, and no condition. That should all find its way into the new block. Fantastic. Alright, how many of these fancy product uh only only about to have ten. I guess I'll wait a little bit longer before I go get the uh wide area beacons. It only stacks to a hundred, so we'd be able to make ten wide area beacons if this was full. Uh, let's make that like a hundred. Okay. Uh, and I did set this up, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and we can allow short trains to pick these up. Ten wide area beacons, so five blocks of something, indeed. Stack size on the right, output, inserter. True, thank you, good point. Oh, it's kind of... It's kind of irrelevant because it's always this stack size 1 inserter bringing it through regardless, it looks like. Nope, never mind. I guess it does matter sometimes. Okay. Leave those devices to their devices. What's this train for? Haven't decided yet. Okay. Uh, I believe we got 235 and 238 sorted out, but we haven't actually got the 238 up here yet. Was this supposed to be 238? I think it was. Okay. 238 and 238. That's going to be empty. That's going to be full. And... can actually... Oh. I forgot. We can get the 238 from here. There's actually quite a lot of it. Actually, there's barely a train load of it. I guess we're probably not getting any more 230 uh, uranium from Nalvis for a long time. Let's see if we can get this train full. Not quite, I think. Nope. It's literally just barely full somehow. Oh, probably because we get exact stacks sent to us from, uh, from Nalvis. So now you're heading for the elevator. Fantastic. Um, I am going to have to put some logic here, otherwise the train will come here even when there's nothing to pick up. Two 
238 and 238. And I should probably get rid of these belts. Why are they pushing... Oh, never mind. Let's just limit both of these. That should be fine for now. I also need to do coal. Um... Wait, 4,000? Shouldn't it be 8,000? Up here. And coal should be 4,000. Set train limit coal. I may have missed setting train limit to 238. And I think this one's correct. It is. That looks okay. And then limit these like so. Fantastic. All right. Can we make two beacons yet? Almost. One more recipe. I really would like to speed up the uh, uranium system. Should probably pick up some speed modules to make that happen. There's our 20. Grab some modules. And I've already got some efficiencies. Up the elevator we go. I like how it keeps the uh, jetpack momentum somehow. That's 30 meters? Corona test still negative. Definitely just a cold. Uh, okay. Alright, what do we got? Uh, we need to make wide area beacons. I'm not going to put it into the the auto crafters just yet. And output to here. Should have everything except for the uh, energy control units. I don't know that we're manufacturing beacons up here. What are they made of? Stuff that should already be in here, unless we don't have concrete. We do. Wait, are we out of concrete? Logistic storage zero. Hey, we consumed all the concrete. Um, I don't even remember why we need concrete up here. Did we... Were we sending up concrete? I don't see any requests for it. Regular beacons need concrete. Weirdly enough. You know what? Just, just have some beacons. I don't feel like making a concrete train right this second. And I'll go steal some Energy 1 catalogs if I can. But I suspect... We're fresh out. Because we need copper plate? Of all things? Don't we have ingots up here? 
apparently not. Wait a sec. Copper ingot. Yeah, we do have them in space. I just haven't brought them over here yet. It's high time I made an LTN requester for these things for this area. And we'll uh, separate these two robot networks. But for right this second, I just want a couple of catalogs. Tell them you have the Factorio virus? No excuse to stay home from work and play Factorio? Unfortunate. I mean, kind of. Alright, so that can go back there. And let's go get ourselves a pair of beacons. Fantastic. Notes, T-Hacks, notes, whenever you divert from the main issue you're trying to fix, you'll thank yourself later. Alternatively, yell at chat to remember something so you can blame chat for forgetting. That sounds like an optimal strategy to me. Alright, let's head downstairs. I hear it raining heavily, and that is a relief. Won't be so hot later on. Very nice. It looks like it's not coming through the mic though, so that seems good. Uh, Cover X, that's where we're doing our beacons. Streamer's privilege, yelling at chat to be your note taker and butchering names. Yes. We need a chat bot that we can take a stack queue for current rabbit holes. <laughs> oh no, that terrifies me. On multiple levels. Alright, beacons go burr. And... We are now net 1.1136 uranium-235 per second. Um, which is actually almost a problem for these stack size 1 inserters to keep up with. So I'll definitely take that. Are these things still running? They are. I guess I'll just leave these here until they stop. And just to be absolutely clear that this input is defunct, get rid of that. Uh, and we should probably have someone pick up this stone, if we can. I guess there's nowhere for the stone to go right now. How much is it? Not that much. Give to me the stone. Fantastic. Um, I guess these are going to output a little stone. Uh, we can just put that on the same belt. Let it all find its way back to the same place. Ouch, 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 ouch. Bad time, bad timing. And now we can remove these. And this. Ouch, he again. Stop it. Okay. And let me just put an icon here to show that we want to deconstruct this when we can. What the hell? Ow. Stop. Oh wait, that's going to mess up the count, isn't it? 
Or... Yeah, I think it is. Oh no, what have I done? Does this work? Huh? Aren't we resetting the count whenever we output stone? It's gonna have like five extra in it, I think. It's supposed to have 30. Output signals 30. Output signals 30. What the hell? This is all wrong. This one has 60. This one has 60. Now it says 29. Huh? This is looking a little bit strange. Dull rocks, indeed. Designer plays. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um. Well, it seems there's no 238 in here at the moment. Couldn't I just, considering the way I've built this, because I don't have a big 238 storage over here, couldn't I actually just priority output to the left and not worry about these wires? And we don't need these to be red. Don't like red for the main wires. Just priority output to cover X. Wait, I think... Uh, I'm thinking maybe we do need to be able to take from this storage to feed cover X. Maybe, but you'll have to do output prior, not input. Oh, this, uh, this again? Yeah. Okay. Let's temporarily do this. I guess I could just cycle it like that all the time. But the trains are probably going to be a bit weird if I do that. Now, what am I going to do about... Oh, I forgot. It's because of the prod modules. That's why this counting system doesn't work. Yeah, we can't, uh, we can't do the counting system with prod modules. So I guess I'll just... I mean, it has some functionality still, but... Because it should generally make sure these are able to work before it... Hmm... I think we should just count on the fact that it's already kind of saturated at this point. Gift me Factorio. Uh huh. Goodbye. Nope. Alright. Uh, yeah, since we can't do the precise counting, really, um, if we're using prod modules, we're just going to count on it being saturated enough. Uh, let me just decon all of the deciders. Ezria, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Alright, let's rethink how this is going to work. Uh, I think we should simply... Put less than X of each resource uh, into this chest each time. Uh, uranium-235 uranium less than some amount. Just like that. And probably... Probably the same thing here. And then copy paste. Uh, what's this one going to be set to? Wait, why are these not? Oh, I have to copy the chest as well. There we go. And then make this one say uranium two thirty five has to be greater than sixty. And then we'll copy paste that over there. No smart circuits here, we're just relying on it being sufficiently saturated. We've already got enough 235 for that to happen. Um, all we're doing is not overfilling the chair. Whoa, okay. Yeah, all we're doing is not overfilling each chest with uranium 235. There's space exploration in Factorio these days. Uh, indeed. It's a good mod. It's a very good mod. It's a very, very big mod. If there is Pi, there can be anything else. Not sure exactly what's meant by that, but okay. Um, I suppose it might be possible... 16% productivity. No, if we had like, uh, I think if you have prod, uh, like five prod sixes, for example, you get exactly plus 100% productivity bonus or something like that. Um, if we had some uh, round number of productivity multiplication, we could probably do the. Uh, the counting system with this. But I'm really not that worried about it now that we've got this much. I do find it a little weird how long it's taking... Oh, it's because it's stack size 1. So these are draining. They're just... Yeah, we're, we're kind of draining from a bit of a back backlog of 235. Um, but the inserters will be able to output slightly, a, a little bit faster than the 235 per second that we're actually able to produce here. Brain's actually getting pretty full. Should there be pie? Can there be cake? At the end of the game, you will be baked and there will be cake. Does that make you happy? Okay, I'm pretty sure this is all working okay. Do we want to do this weird loop? Hmm. No, I, I think we probably... I don't know, maybe I should have it loop like this. Except, like, output slower. Ouch. Ouch. Spicy. As is light? What are we not lighting? Gotta go to work now. Take care, Sir JMO. Thanks for hanging out. Is the cover X on the right looping into itself? The cover X on the right is basically set up to drain into here eventually, for the most part. Um, but I don't want to pick up all the uranium. Uh, 
Maybe I should... Have a... Hmm. Hmm. The 238 only comes from directly mining, right? Pretty sure that's the only way to get it. Except for recycling these things and these things, I guess. So it basically just comes from mining. I think I'd like to just set up... What's the stack size here? 10? I think I'd like to just set these to be able to have... It costs 3 per recipe. I was going to add another storage over here, but it's really not necessary. Make it a couple of hundred. So a couple of stacks or so of uranium-238 in each of these chests. And the rest will go straight to ring network. We'll always priority output to go to Coverex. Um, but it should be saturated um, pretty soon. Yeah, it's all—it's already saturated, basically. So once that stops picking up, we'll get rid of this weird loop. We'll could probably do it now, to be honest. Wait, no, there's no 238 up here. Uh, apparently I'm draining more 238 into Coverex than I thought. But I definitely want to do that first, for now. Yeah, once we see this part saturated, it means we've got enough. Shouldn't it be, like, 18, 36 stacks, 3600? That's like most of one cargo wagon that we'll have in here. Probably about a cargo wagon, because it'll go over by a little bit. I want to hurry up and get rid of this loop thing. Here, here we go. Oh, it's only because we're... It's only because we've basically run out over here. Uh, it's probably fine. I'll just leave it like that. It'll sort itself out. We should probably tap some more uranium, though. We've still got a bunch over here. It can't be that bad. It's a, it's a little bit slow, to say the least. Let's search for uranium ore. I've already mined this one. Oh, this one's kind of close. Let's grab it. Whoops. How about... I'm going to have to add some extra drills no matter what I do. Some blue underground, some pipe, some extra drill over here, just to get one tile actually. Let's put this here instead. And same goes for this one. That should have full coverage. Did I make a prod moduled version of this? I guess not. And we'll connect this where we can. Oh, that's actually a beautiful fit. 
All right, uh, that's a chain signal. That's a chain signal. Uh, in and out. Seems good. Construction train, get over there, please. And then await further instructions. Pipes to move, pipes to the moved miners. Pipes to the move. Oh, good point. Uh, that's why this was going to be easier in the first place. That's inconvenient. And this one as well. Uh, these ones are connected already. Construction train should already be here. That doesn't look connected, it actually is. Down you go, please. And I'll need a uh, sulfuric acid drop-off as well. Make sure we put it in parallel, otherwise things will get complicated. Just like that. That should all be in range. Get some prod mods in here. And I can probably just copy sulfuric acid drop off from somewhere else. Give it some signals. Power poles. That should be fine. Train is already scheduled. And go over here, please. Okay. There's our power, and sulfuric acid is on the way. Construction train is getting out of the way. That should be everything. Time to hydrate. Oh yeah, minor detail, we need the pipe connections. Uh, how about steel pipe over here? And then we need these to connect to each other. North minor unpowered, that is also a point. Let's get our construction train back. Just about ready to go. We have everything we need. Uh, pipes. Yeah, we do. Pipe power. That's pretty much it. 
Uh, where's this train stop? Here it is. Wait for inactivity. And here it comes. Don't you need to connect the tank to the miners? Yes, indeed. Yes, we do. Where's the train? Oh, there it is. Beautiful. And there we go. And that'll get us a whopping... Three uranium ore per second at peak. Where's the next one? Uh, okay, here we go. That's kind of far away. Uh, that's kind of really far away. These are already trapped. Is this one not working? Is that the only uranium left there? Not quite. That's kind of far away and also small. That's a nice patch. It's very far, but 1.4 mil. It's probably the best patch on the planet that remains. That's a 1 mil over there. And they're sorted by distance from where I am right now. That's a 1.3. Hmm. Oh, 1.8. Here we go. Now, it's actually sort of close to the rail that we've already got. Let's go grab it. Hopefully this will keep us tight. Uh, this will tide us over until... Um... Until we can get some... Some uranium core fragments so we don't have to think about the finite supply anymore. Okay. Uh, we obviously want to connect... Actually, do it down here so we can do a continuous line. Construction train is ready to go again. Is that lined up properly this time? Looks like it. And we are going to need a couple more drills. Um, how about... Like this. We'll need a bit of pipe there. And I... I think that's actually pretty much it. We will, of course, be wanting a sulfuric acid drop-off. Should still have it in my copy-pastes. There we go. And then... Run our highway out this way. As far as we need to. And this will look something like this. Uh, I might have this go over here. And this one as well. Okay. Let me just ride the construction train for this one, I think. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Need to figure out straight to train mining. Yeah, it's it's good. I haven't come up with the vanilla one. Um, although I think uh, instead of like I did do this blueprint in such a way that we can snap it 
from here to here. But I think it's generally better just to, like, lengthen the miners out vertically like this. It's easier. Even though we could technically uh, just drag the blueprint around. But the more... The more separate train stops you make, the more you'll have to tell the trains to come and pick up the last of it. Uh, the more the, the the more times you'll have to change those settings. You could, of course, uh, probably make some kind of build that detects um, how much is left to mine. And changes the provide threshold at the end. Um, but I think it would be a bit complicated and annoying to, like, fit it all together. I think that would work a lot better with... Well, okay, the thing is... We'd need to detect from the individual miners how much... No, I think we could do it, actually. So, each miner connected to each other for the blueprint. Uh, we read how much is left to mine. We don't care that it overlaps and adds them all up. All we care about is when this number reaches zero, then we change the provide stack threshold to, like, one. Or just give it a provide threshold of one. That would work. Yeah, I think that's actually it. It might be simpler than I thought it would be. Should probably be a regular signal, actually. And this one goes here. Fantastic. Let's drive it manually forward. I'll try that for the next mine. On second thought, why don't I try it for this one? We do indeed have electricity. Did you know you can use cargo option empty instead of passenger thing? Passenger thing. Well, that's one option. It'll save you a few clicks. Either either way is fine, as long as we... Oops. Didn't have as much RoboPort range as I thought. Uh, let's do the signaling while we're here. In and out. Uh, in and out. Wait, what? In and out, and in and out. And in and out. In and out. It's actually pretty easy. Fantastic. There shouldn't be too much traffic through here, so I think that signaling will be fine, actually. Oh, I can't really step over the uranium here. Uh, let's use the navsat, I guess. So if we were to connect... All of these drills. Let's get our fluid over here as well. Uh, 
apparently we don't have electricity. Probably because I didn't connect electricity. Whoops. Burgers and fries, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Uh, and Johan Anderson, welcome if I didn't say so. Burgers and fries. Doing alright? Fantastic. Okay, so the idea is every drill that's connected to this train stop will connect with wire. We're going to read this mining drill, not the entire patch. Add all of those up. We don't care that they overlap. Um, because we're really only interested in whether or not the number is zero. So we'll have a decider combinator here. And we're just going to say if uranium uh, equals zero. If there's no more uranium to be picked up by these drills, then output, whoops, output one provide threshold. Uh, which is basically going to have the effect of, if there's nothing left to drill, set a provide threshold so low that a train will definitely come to pick up the last of this. And that's it. Easier than I thought it would be. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can always place down a wind thingy to test if everything is powered. Place down a wind thingy. Oh, I can see it on the power poles as well. Is there not sulfuric acid coming here? It usually takes like a nanosecond for it to get scheduled. Are we short on sulfuric acid? Not even a little bit. Uh, it's just that it's getting delivered somewhere else. We're not short on fluid wagons, are we? Oh, is this short fluid wagons only? I think we have like one of those. Nope, it's short or long fluid wagons. Oh, we did get the... Oh, wow. Sneaky. Okay. Um, yeah. I think that's... Uh, I think that's all it takes. So I'll put these here. I might work that into the blueprint, except... I could make this generic, right? We could say input signal everything equals zero. I think you need to provide a value of 79 if uranium is above zero. And then the constant should be one. What do you mean by that? Uh, yeah, so if there are no inputs, output provide threshold 1. If there's nothing left to drill. And that should work for any resource. Oh, and uh, it occurs to me that if I do blueprint it this way, Theoretically, if the train stop and the decider combinator... Oh no, it's it's fine. If this... If the train stop gets a signal of provide threshold 1... Um, while there's still resources to drill, and this is empty, nothing's going to happen. If, there's, if it happens while there's just a little bit to pick up here, it just means we mostly waste one train trip. So it's probably okay to do it like that in the blueprint. Signals merge, not overwrite. Signals merge, not overwrite. Uh, 
I'm not... Yeah, I know that. I've got... Uh, I don't have a, prov a regular provide threshold. So we've got provide stack threshold. We don't have a provide threshold here. The mod settings provide threshold is super high, so it effectively doesn't exist. And if we send it a provide threshold of 1, um, then the provide threshold will be 1, as opposed, well, yeah, as opposed to 80 stacks. Anyway, I'm tired. Go and get some sleep. All right, take care, burgers. Thanks again for the raid. And take care. I just said that, but whatever. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, so I think we're good here. Probably. Let's... Well, first of all, let's get this coal out of here. Let the bots come back. Seems good. And let's go home. Does that work? I suppose fluid is 50k, which is more than a full train. Yes, exactly. Um, it's hard to find something that 50k isn't more than a full train. Even with trains that are twice as long. Well, if it was trains that were twice as long, the fluid thing would be 100k, provide threshold. Provide threshold takes priority over stack. Um, sort of, yeah. I mean, if the provide threshold is lower than the stack. Wh whichever is lower effectively takes priority. So it's very convenient that fluids come in such large amounts. Then again, I guess if they are fluids, uh, we would probably define them in large numbers in the game. Alright, so I think I would like to jump into the editor and we'll update that blueprint. We'll also make a version with prod modules. Once the bots have caught up giving us stuff. Seems good. Alright, let's delete this for now. And then. And then. I could actually build something to test it as well. Because I can put a very small amount of iron uh, down on the ground to, to actually get mined. As opposed to this up here. It actually already is a small amount, that's why there's gaps in it. So what I want to do is... Lazy mine. We're going to add a decider combinator. It's, in, it's going to be in a spot where we can't just put another mine here anyway. Yeah, that's good. D cider combinator. There they are. And we're just going to connect like so. I kind of like the red wire for this because everything's red already. Uh, and it is covered by the substation. Everything, if everything is equal to zero, output one, provide threshold. And I think that's it. Let's update. Oh, we can't because it's vertical. Just get rid of all this stuff. Actually, I have a faster way to do it. Uh, let's see. Did I set this correctly? I did. Okay, so... Let's 
just called Lazy Mind. Oh, here's the snap to 18, 34, 2, and 2. And it's relative. Uh, train stop names, yes. That's gonna replace this one. Double check we had the train stop name. We did. Fantastic. Uh, then I'm gonna put prods in it. I said, then I'm gonna put prods in it. Also, since I'm always doing this anyway, I might just put underground belts like that so we can easily add to this a little bit more easily. Evening, JP. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then something similar over here, I guess. Although, I don't see why I would need one here. Typically. Alright, so the snap to is 1834, 2 and 2. Easy mine. Green stop names and modules. Please tell me I did connect that wire. It's got an odd number of undergrounds. Heresy. Uh, I think it was 80... Whoops. That, my, my mechanical habit, I typed in 86. 18, 34, 2, and 2. There we go. Uh, and it should be snap to grid, relative, not absolute. Okay. And we'll just confirm that if we power these things, um, they've, they've actually got like some thousands to pick up each, even though it's only 50 per tile. Um, how about a super beacon with super speed modules? Uh, what can we get? 12? That's kind of fast. The animation is all weird now. Mining speed plus 1400%. Alright. So... You can actually see the... Uh, this is the overlapped calculation of how much ore is available to pick up. You can actually see it going down relatively quick. We'll come back to that in a little bit and confirm that the provide threshold drops down to one once there's nothing left to mine. Oh. Cool. Kind of makes me want to go and get another uranium mine. How about the 1.3 mil? That's so far away though. 1.4 mil is also pretty damn far. I could be a bit lazy and run this train track down here. It would go down faster without the prod mods. N n no. We're actually like most of the way there already. We're down to 44k. I'd have to remove them all. Grumble, grumble. Uh, I don't want to delete the wire connections. 
Okay. It's actually not going to make that much of a difference. Plus 1500% speed, plus 1400% speed. But I guess I could put super speeds in here. Yeah, that's a bit... That's a bit faster. It's just a few seconds per thousand now. I guess prod bonuses are, an, are a thing. It's part of the reason why it's going to take so long for this to drill. Anyway, that's another 10 uh, wide area beacons worth of energy control units right there. Should probably get some... Try and make sure some energy catalogs get delivered here as well. Energy catalog, I forgot we didn't fix all this. We don't have copper. Um, why don't we put a station over here? Surprisingly easy. Get some scaffolding up this way. Throw in... Uh, we'll need a robopot to read from. Throw in a requester station. You know what, just, just build this out, make it easy. Double unloader. Active providers. And read from the robot network for what we've already got. Just start requesting things. Don't forget to let LTN know what's in here as well. Uh, long trains only seems fine. Alright. Upper ingot. 50 times 80. 4,000? Spaghetti requester? Wait, where am I typing? Oh, and that's a negative. Alright, so there should be... Wow, that was quick. Should be a delivery scheduled. Space Gamer? Oh, huh? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, how's our uranium looking over here? Decent. Very decent, actually. Uh, the trains are dropping stuff off faster than we can process it. And we should have 238 saturated in here pretty soon. Nice. Is this train still waiting? No, I think it's come back for another train load, which means... It's because I never set this correctly. 
I never set a train limit. But... I might just send this one on its way. No, I'll send it back to the, uh... Back to the mall, uh, or, or to the depot, and it'll, it'll come back here when there's more 235 available. So it can send a whole train load up the elevator. Seems good. What's next? Well, let's see... Science working again. Once the bots can be bothered bringing the copper plate over here. Uh, I think it's about time to cut off these two robot networks. And we'll just start requesting stuff by train whenever it runs out to each of these blocks. This one only has 24 Logibots, this one has hundreds. Should probably do something about that. Both of them should be okay with just 50 now, I imagine. Oop, went past it. Up we go. Alright, let's drop off so we have exactly 50 bots. One more. Fantastic. I could maybe belt over here so that the bots don't have to go anywhere near as far. That I would need some space belt first. I know exactly where to find it. Should I let him pick this up first? Nah. Let's shove it in my rash slots. Alright, just put it all through here, and active provider way down here, much closer to the storage chests. And there we go. Probably it would help if we had this belt here. It's not perfect, but they will not have to travel nearly as much this way. Alright, so there's no blank data cards because there's no polished data cards, because there's no rough data cards. Uh, I think I know how to solve that problem, though. Rough data storage substrate, stack size 100, so 8,000. As soon as those run out, should be a train bringing them right now. Wait, did I not bring up rough data? Rough daughter? Rough data storage substrates yet. Apparently not. Alright, let's put, put them here. Rough data. And that's going to be everything. Also, this one might not be set correctly. There we go. There's our first U-238 in the system. Uh, so then we need 
rough data storage substrates on the ground. To be set with the usual decider combinator for vanilla brain decision making. Uh, on the off chance we still want a LTN train to pick these up, we'll set the provide stack threshold higher. And let's get our construction train to swing by. Here it comes. Set train limit to rough. But that's a recipe signal. Rough data storage substrate. And it's over here. If it's greater than uh, about 10,000, allow vanilla train to pick it up. This modded, uh, very yes. Beauty Poo, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. So train limit should be zero. What? Hold on. There's 36,000. Oh, that was polished. There we go. Rough data train limit is yes. Cool. Let's bring in another vanilla train. And thank you for the follow, booty. Right, so we're going to have rough. You said rough. Data storage substrate. There it is. Empty over here. Uh, fill over here. Remove the old one and off you go. LSF, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so uh, in a couple of minutes or so, we should have rough data storage substrates uh, with the benefit of... Do we have prods? We actually don't. Soon to be with the benefit of prod modules brought up from the ground. How fast is this? 12 per second. Uh, I could make a beacon here as well, but I don't know how necessary it is yet. Let's go full prods. And get our construction train to pay them a visit. Um, and just wait until inactivity... It's hard, though, I was trying to use the converters to make chips, to make inserters, to then make the green potion all automated, but something always goes wrong. Definitely, that's part of the game. What went wrong? Let's get prod modules on these as well. While we're at it. Uh... Apparently we don't carry enough prod modules. 4 times 48 is almost 200, yeah. So we need 4 stacks to get that done in one go. Um, but we might be a bit over the line on our stacks. What do I sacrifice? Well, I could probably just put the prods in a different, um, a different cargo wagon. That might be a good idea. Let's see which one has the most space. Also, one that fills up quickly, like probably the one at the back. We're putting modules in the back already. Do we need assembly machine twos anymore? I don't think so. Let's get rid of those. 
And we'll send them back to the mall as well. Okay. Looks like we overfilled butts here a little bit, but I'm not overly concerned about it right now. More to the point, we don't actually have four stacks of rods to go in here. This one's totally full. Hmm. Maybe I should hurry up and just have it carry pylons. That frees up a few stacks. We've also got vanilla train stops in here for some reason. I mean, we do need them sometimes, but not that often. This is probably more chain signals than we need to carry. I can fit three stacks of prods here. Let's drop a stack of long arm inserters. And we'll take 200 prod threes. Take a moment to empty this stack right here. I like conquering the natives. It makes me feel like Christopher Columbus on steroids. Oh no. Trying to equalize the speed of production and track so there's no bottlenecks is really difficult when you're dealing with converters or whatever you call them. Uh, well, you can't actually have no bottlenecks, but if you want to balance things pretty well, I would strongly recommend the rate calculator mod. Uh, and after that, let's get our train to visit over here as well. Wait for inactivity. Looks like that one's done. What's our rate here? 3.16 per second. Whereas this can only consume like half of that. So it's fine for the moment. Looks like our rough data storage substrates are on their way. Beautiful. Starting to feel like a real base now. Um, what was I doing on the ground? Oh yeah, rod modules in here. Do we have enough in one go? Probably not quite as expected. Looks like if I just build a roboport here temporarily, that'll be all it takes to get that done. Yep. Fantastic. All right, back to the mall with you. Lao Dong, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it a mod that allows you to track the production rate of specific parts of your factory? Uh, do you mean like this? Rate calculator? Yep, that's the mod I was talking about. And it doesn't just calculate throughput of items. You can do some different stuff with it. Alright, so there's our rough data storage substrates. Whoops. Oh, and now we don't need like 50... We don't need like 500 stacks of storage here for each possible resource that we deliver because of the way we set up the cargo rockets before. So that's nice. Fantastic. Alright, we'll wait till uh, research stalls over here and find out what we're bottlenecked on next. Chemical gel is actually empty. Um, we do still... Oh, we're barreling it? 
probably because of just bringing it over here somewhere or something. I don't actually remember where we're emptying chemical gel barrels. But whatever. Um, chemical gel is lacking petroleum. Petroleum is... Barrel... There's no more petroleum barrels. I think we do have some over here, though. Nope. Alright, cool. Uh, we do need to do some actual not-bot infrastructure to drop off the fluids. Um... So let's just do those. That's actually kind of tricky. Unless I'm going to barrel them. Which I could do. Hmm. All the spaghetti, indeed. How do you send fluid in the space elevator in barrels? Uh, no, in fluid wagons. Much more efficient. Well, except that the barrels bring steel as well, but not a lot of steel. Um, so I was thinking of just doing some fluid drop-offs, but like... Getting the fluid through the spaghetti is looking like a nightmare. What if we do fluid drop-off into barrels? For the true spaghetti. Get some space rail up here. If you walk off the edge in space, do you just fly off? Pretty much. And it's a little different from the jetpack for some reason. Fun, indeed. Alright, so we want another requester up here. And it's like four fluids that we deliver here, right? There's... Heavy oil, I believe there's light oil, or was that only because we were going to launch the rockets? No, the light oil gets consumed over here. And there's definitely petroleum. I thought there was one more. I remember there being nitric acid barrels. Where do we drop those off? Nitric acid barrel. Here is request. Oh, it's literally just for the solar panels. Okay, so we're not requesting that one here. Uh, apparently we're only making scaffolding down this way. Just grab some. So we need three fluids, and we could leave room for a fourth. Oh, that doesn't fit as well as I imagined. Or does it? Yeah, that, that works. I think I did this uh, downstairs, actually. And we're just going to connect to the logistic train stop output. So we know which fluid the train is dropping off. And then... We'll connect these... Hold up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um... Yeah, we'll connect these two. And these two. I'm gonna need a longer underground, aren't I? 9, 10, 11 tiles. Uh, 
that doesn't fit very well. I guess it's just not going to fit very well. Okay, so... Uh, let's say heavy oil, light oil, petroleum, something else. Yep, that works. And then we need to barrel it. Bonk. No bonk. Water is liquid for? Uh, that'll be ice. We'll deliver ice here. No, no gratuitous bonking. I'm calling the morality police. Uh, I need some niners. Oh, the space pipe is down here. Uh, where is our space pipe? Nope. Uh-oh. Now we've done it. Okay, so... Empty... No, fill. Uh... Light. Oil barrel. Fill pet. Rolium oil barrel. I know, right? And this goes over here. This goes over here. Nope. Um I'll make this one heavy. And uh we won't actually worry about this one yet. Okay, so this is heavy oil. And this is heavy oil. This is light oil. We're looking for a negative one signal coming from the logistic train stop output. This is petroleum. And this one we're not going to use yet. All right, we need a requester. And provider. And apparently we need to make a couple of these. That's a lot of barrels. We don't need that many. Alright, I'll just double check. Barrel... We've got almost zero. We are recycling all the barrels. But I think... Yeah, I wanted to make sure there's at least... 1k barrels left before we recycle them. So I'll just turn steel plate into barrels, that should be fine. Let's do it right here, why not? Barrel, steel plate, 100. Wanna see how you kill the biters since you're an expert? Um, I guess look at the early episodes of this playthrough because we had the rampant mod on before it caused UPS problems. Uh, and we need a passive provider. There we go. I might just allow this to fill up actually. 
All right, so now we request... What? Where am I going? Uh, heavy oil. Say 60k. Because we can fit at maximum 100k. And let's copy the station name. Changed a bit. Spaghetti fluids. Turn that on, and there should be a train scheduled to come here in just a moment. Oh no, we don't have a fluid wagon yet. That would probably help. Let's uh, expand our very excellent depot here. Doesn't look like it's going to fit the way I want it to. Um, how about... Whatever, I'll just put it here. Oh, and where's that blueprint? to place that once more. We're one off that fitting properly. How about we use long arms? There we go. And then one, two, three, and four. I kind of want to use the same color as we do down here. I think it's just straight blue. Uh, and that's going to go to the same depot stop as well. So it's going to have the same schedule, just a different color. And then I don't see any rocket fuel. Oh, because the rocket fuel is all over here. May as well just request some. Uh, I'm pretty sure solid ro rocket fuel. What does it go into? Asteroid belt probe. Is there anything I want to build with the mole? But yes, there is. Okay, let's request solid rocket fuel, uh, 800, should be on its way in just a moment. Wait, did I bring up solid rocket fuel this way yet? I did not. I keep thinking I have things in this network that I haven't put there yet. So for the moment, I'll just steal a bunch from here. It should last quite a while. But we do need... to set that up consistently. You have solid rocket fuel? I do. Oh, I do. Fantastic. So why is it not... Being delivered. We've definitely got 120 stacks here. Oh, probably because there's a bit of solid fuel here. No, it would have been delivered to these requesters. So I'm not sure. Oh, it wasn't requesting from buffer chests. That's probably it. And I did set this low enough so that we'd have to be completely empty on solid rocket fuel um, to trigger a delivery. That was probably a mistake. Uh, but yeah, that's our fluid wagon. And there it goes bringing petroleum. Uh, 
Note that we've constantly got hardly any logistic bots active now that I split those two networks. It also helps that science isn't moving, but I don't think we'll need more. Alright, let's confirm this works. Uh, that traffic though. Because I haven't put any signals in this massive thing yet. Should probably go do that. As much as it is a temporary setup. Uh, there are limits. Would it be faster to figure out the snap to? Probably. Snap to grid, relative, and I think I just reduced the width by one. Yeah, that was easier than I thought it would be. And I don't care about the corner, we'll just do this down here. Close enough. And that will allow our trains to not wait for the entire block to be emptied. By another train before they move through. Even though I think that probably would have been fine for our overall traffic, uh, we do have bursts of traffic when we set these things up. Alright, there's our petroleum barrels. Fantastic. And I'm sure there's more to come. Light oil is next. And I've run out of signals. Whoops. Let's get some extra regular signals this time. If I can find them. On B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. much further. Even just placing a pair of signals, you can feel it ever so slightly. Just chilling before studies, nice. That's making it worse because a bunch of signals get placed at the same time. But now it's done. Alright, up we go. Ha snap. UPS suffers even placing signals. That's the only time it place uh it suffers. Because every time we place or remove a signal, for some reason, every single train on every single surface in the entire game repaths, apparently. Uh and for some reason, if we remove seven thousand signals in one frame, uh like when we're using the editor extensions, it Apparently repaths every train 7,000 times. Um, I'm not sure why that's necessary. But that's what happens. It noticeably suffers for a signal. Yeah, for a single signal. It's uh, just barely noticeable at this point. But it'll get worse, don't worry. Um, but at least most of the time it's really not... It's pretty much negligible. Okay, do we have all of our barrels here? We don't have heavy oil. 
We will in a minute. And it looks like our setup here is done correctly. Very nice. It's also very neat. I like it. Alright, what's the next resource that's uh, busted? Rare metals? Yep. We do have a bunch of raw rare metals. I remember I was going to convert... Uh... Oh! That's exactly what this was for. Yeah, I need a decider combinator for each resource here. Um, it's not going to fit too elegantly, but that's okay, I guess. We're just going to read from these chests. Alright, so if iron is... We're not going to send it back downstairs. If iron is greater than zero... Output iron plate, and we're gonna write recipe. Recipe? What? Uh, and then same thing for copper. And something similar for rare metals. Raw rare metals, output rare metals. Uh, so that'll slowly get rid of all of that ore. Which I don't know how we got here. I think it was all from scrap, actually. Have some speed modules. That's a bit better. Um, I got sidetracked. What were we doing? Seeing what else is busted. Oh yeah, rare metals. Uh, we just need to request them over here. Rare metals. Um, 9k. Already on its way. Fantastic. And we keep doing similar until science keeps moving. Until we run out of things to do with the types of science that we have in this spaghetti. Fantastic. What's next on the list? We should do these ingots. We did rough data storage. I'm putting these off. So lithium, rail, and a couple of ingots. The rare metals pickup seemed to be unnamed. Rare metals pickup. Uh, the request is fine. And you are correct. And we've got just the opportunity to update it right now. Beautiful. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Don't you need copper for space science? Yep, uh, we do have copper. And it's being requested up here as ingots, which we convert to plate on the spot. Alternatively, uh, because I set this up, I could have requested it as plate, I guess. But we've got all this spaghetti here. It, we already had the, the machine to break down the ingots. It's fine. Anyway. There go the rare metals. Um, so I want one block for ingots and one block for, uh, the regular stuff. I think I'll put the ingots over here, or maybe here, and the regular blueprint over here. I think I like this a little better. Where's our ingot? Oh, here it is. I was mousing over it. 
All right, construction train, if you please. Let's do the next one of these. Wait for empty cargo, I guess. And I think this will be the last one we need to make for a while. We can get eight different resources up with one block this way. And there's like only a couple that were still left on this list. Not counting these ones. I guess I could do all the tech cards and these two, actually. That's a perfect fit. Unfortunately, we have to wait for all the scaffolding to get placed before we can actually place the blueprint. Give me all that. Don't tell me this is too much scaffolding. It is... Hard to say. Um, 2.1k. I think we're only loading 2,000 in the train, actually. So we're going to be tragically short. Unless I happened to be carrying some space scaffolding. Uh, did we get it done? Possibly? Nope, there's a little bit missing over there. Alright, let me just bump this up a little bit. 22 stacks next time. But it looks like it's only a solar panel that's going to be missing. Let's grab our blueprint. Uh, this one... Oh, I need a bunch of vanilla stops. Eight to be precise. Sorry, late arriver missed that copper setup. No worries. I think that was yesterday, actually. All right, which resource do we want to do first? Whoops. Um... Lithium rail. I think I want to do the tech cards together. So let's do red green chemical rocket. Tech card goes here. And I can update that so it works. Uh, green tech card. Chemical. And rocket. And I'll update the station names before I forget. Red. Green. Blue and yellow, and we'll do the other two tech cards down here. That is, I think one of them was blank, and the other was military. Uh, yep, blank and military. Blank tech card. Military tech card. 
LTN settings as they are. That should be all those done, and that leaves lithium. And rail. So we can make the space rail. Lithium goes here, and rail goes here. Beautiful. Um, and then I have to set up the trains. Let's send our construction train back here to build what it can before it goes back. Neat, thank you. Uh, let me just stand on the solar panels, I feel safer there. Alright, uh... Okay, this is gonna be a whole process. I think I also have a spot here that I can do a vanilla train. Although it's technically in the highway. All right, so data card. What? Oh, tech card. Tech card. Something is off here. Do we not have pickup stations for our tech cards? That's a blue circuit. We do. And they they have the appropriate station names? It looks like. Um I don't understand. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh no, the evil guy is here again. What will we do, indeed? Um, I don't understand why when I type tech, I don't find most of these. Oh boy. This is looking like a problem. Tech card, what is it called? Automation science pack, logistic science pack, military science pack, chemical science pack, SE rocket science pack. Okay. How about I search for science pack, or just pack? Here we go. Red and red. Empty and full. That was the wrong one. Nope, that's fine actually. Off you go. Wait, I didn't... Uh, that's a lot of station names. Uh, I didn't put the decider combinators where they need to go. I guess it's only going to be vanilla trains picking these up. Or not these ones, though. Alright, we're going to need our construction train to pay all of those a visit. Five seconds each should be fine. And drag this down to here and off you go 
Okay, so we already sent the red one. Let's update this. Set train limit. Tech card red. If 200 times 80. Uh, I don't see any reason for short trains to pick this up. Just limit it like that. Keep it balanced. Alright. Uh, if 16k... And then we'll have to do basically the same settings, but with different symbols for all of these. Is this one stack size only 50? So 4,000. And this one is also 200. All right. Uh, and I'll want to limit all of these to 40 stacks. Oh, we have we still have zero rocket tech cards because we haven't done satellite telemetry yet. All right, let's go left to right, top to bottom, fixing this up. Uh, Lumi Lu, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Set train limit, tech card blank, and blank, and blank. That one should be done. Set train limit, tech card, item research data. We already did the red one, that leaves three to go, and I didn't actually change the uh, logistic train stop provide stack threshold yet. I can do that for each of them with a copy paste all at once. Which tech card is this? Military? Let me go back and double check something on this one. Fantastic. Two to go. Set train limit. Chemical. And last but not least, certainly not least, uh, is Rocket Tech Card. Oh. Now we just have to do the trains. So I already did the red one. Uh, you need to search for pack. Green can be next. Wait till full. Wait till empty. Off you go. And let's get a couple more. So that was red and green. This can be the first two, blank and vita research data. Wait till full. Wait till empty. That is the same symbol, right? I think that's military. It is military. 
and this can be blank. Nice and easy. Empty. Uh, full rather. Full cargo, empty cargo. That seems good. And that just leaves the final two tiers. Okay. Uh, card. Nope. Oh. Patch. Uh, what are we looking for? Definitely the yellow one. Empty and full. That's interesting. No stops with this name exist. Huh? It clearly does exist though. It's got train limit zero, but that's the only... It shouldn't actually say it doesn't exist, should it? Uh, we need to do blue as well. Let's get blue out of the way. Empty. And... Oh. Off you go. Are you using LTN elevator mod? I am not. Blood sugar? Hughes Mike, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well, good to see you again, fantastic indeed, um, so did I, it says no stops with this name exist, even though I literally looked up the name, I think it just means the train limit is zero, No? Why is it like this? No stops with this name exist. Uh, if I, if I send you to this stop... Oh. Oh, the name is backward on this one. So how does... How do I have something to look up that has this name? Oh, it's upstairs. I get it. I get it. Um, where is our train? Oh, I lost it. Here it is. How about you just stop there for a sec so I know where you are. And we'll turn this one around. Fantastic. And then wait for full cargo. Does it not have a path? It can definitely path. Yeah, that's our station name. Go there for full cargo. Is the train limit zero? Oh, it's outputting input count. Yeah, so now it can go there. Alright, but I don't actually want it to do that. So we'll send it to the depot instead. And that should be all the science stuff. I see red, I see blue, I see green tech cards. I know we don't have these ones yet. I see military, I see blank. Fantastic. Let's mark it on map. Green goes up here. Blue. Yellow. Uh, what's this? Blank. Blank. 
and military. And this one was going to be lithium. Where's lithium? Oh, there it is. And last but not least is rail. Just lined it up with the rail on the map, I guess. Okay. So meanwhile, on Hagen, lithium outputs in a couple of places because we doubled this block. Let's put a decider combinator in the usual spot and get our construction train to do a drive-by. Oh, it's here, actually. That should do it. And we'll want to set this accordingly. Oh, I forgot to crank up the right stack threshold. Before. Alright, so set train limit to lithium. If lithium greater than something, I'll put lithium input count for a functionally infinite train limit. Uh, and that is going to be... Uh, about a train load and a half. About 5,000. Six thousand. That's the standard I was going by before. Why is this such a high priority pick? Oh, because of the chlorine has to get out of here. That makes sense. All right. And we can basically just copy paste this over here, except for the part where copy pasting wire connections on the bulk rail loaders doesn't work so well. Uh, but other than that, we're good. Now we make a lithium vanilla train. Bitter pack? Bitter pack? What? And uh, Junior, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's, what's a bitter pack? So we're going to have full cargo, we're going to empty cargo, we're going to put this up here and get rid of that. And apparently... Oh, I see why. Uh, I think we have to go to this stop and pick that up. I think you missed the stop of... Bitter packs upstairs. Bitter packs. I, I don't understand what is meant by bitter packs. Um, I think I set this up right. There's something. Else. Oh yeah, yeah. Before I forget, um, provide stack threshold for LTN one hundred and sixty. And five and six. Do you mean biter packs? Yeah, um, Gordon Freeman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Actually, I have to set this to only 120 with the way I've got this set up. Oh, there's nothing. This one's totally different. Okay, never mind. Uh, how about we just... Uh, 
maybe make that a little bigger. And then 120. easier if I do it this way. Alright, that seems good. And here goes our train. Only slept four hours? Fair. Um, alright. Oh, and rail. That's the one that I almost forgot. I didn't actually do a lithium one yet, did I? Oh, I did. I just haven't sent it on its way. And then this one is for rail. We do have rail in the in the rail network, right? I don't think I actually do. Well, we're going to need a vanilla pickup for it if we're going to send it to the Spellevator. Um, so I guess we need to do a block for rail? How is it going to look? We're going to need sticks. No, it's just steel beam and stone. I'm pretty sure steel beam is already in the network. It's actually not. Hmm. Much to my surprise. Okay. Uh, let's do a basic steel beam one first then. Wide area bacon. The usual layout of these. Uh, they should probably have prod, prod modules actually. And I think this was like 2 thirds efficiencies. As long as we're on tier 3. Oops. Steel beam. Let's have a look at... Uh, actually, I kind of want to put some pylons in here. while we're doing that. Okay. Uh, what would our rate calc look like? Just a bit more than a blue belt per second and two blue belts in. Fair enough. Um, I guess I could just make this a bit wider. Are they individually slow? Yeah, pretty much. So we could probably... do it like this. Input. And output. Where's our fast inserters? And 
and copy paste flip and then um we'll do the usual i think i'll stop like using massive storages we'll just have well no this has kind of become my standard i think it works okay 30 per second is more than half of the total throughput for this, so pushing that much to the front should be more than enough. We're going to go with... Maybe I should build the uh, vanilla pickup into it ahead of time. Let's figure out if we're putting steel beam directly into space. We needed to make storehouses. I kind of want the mall to be able to do that, so we may as well, if nothing else. Yeah, there's a lot that steel beam goes into, even if it's just mall stuff. It also goes into rail, which I think I'll, I'll actually... I don't know, I was considering doing rail right here so that we don't have to put the beams into the network, but... We're going to do it anyway. Let's go. Like this. And like this. Alright. So, decide a combinator. Uh, steel beam stacks to a hundred. So if provide stack threshold 160, short trains are allowed. Lock this one up and set train limit steel beam. Uh, if steel beam greater than uh, train load in a bit. Train load in a half, I think. So 4,000, 6,000. Output steel beam. Seems good. Please fix it. My OCD triggered when you used a normal train track symbol instead of space rail icon. Where? You mean up in orbit? Like here? Twelve K for stack size one hundred. Uh so uh let's see. Yeah, one twenty times one hundred. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I am suck. Good to see you again, by the way. But um, this is literally a drop-off for regular rail. And that's what we're describing here with this with this tag. That that's that's what it's there for though. To let us know where the space uh, where the regular rail is. Budgie bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I need to finish this build. But well, I need to finish two builds actually. Um, it's probably fine if I just take directly from each of these, as long as we only request like a couple of train loads. Even if it did get imbalanced, it wouldn't really matter. Pretty sure. It should stay balanced anyway. What is the cannon receiver in for in the train station? Uh, it's just the fact that it's a 3x3 three three chest. If you put a chest in the corners like this with bulk rail loaders or unloaders, 
the invisible inserters built into these things will give or take from them. And I just want a chest that these things will take from. That's all that is. So it's nice and symmetrical. It's the only 3x3 three three chest. That's why. Alright, so we need some... Uh, some steel plate. Steel plate requester. Going into... Uh, assembly machine 3, and out comes... Beam. And then steel plate, a couple of train loads which is to say 16k. Thanks for explaining, you're welcome. Um, Alright, that should be fine. Got the wire connections and stuff. Switch that on. And... This is beam... Provider. That's blueprint. I don't think we need to test that one with a one resource in, one resource out kind of setup. And throughput well within the belt throughput. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said it was slightly more than a blue belt of output, didn't I? So I'm actually bottlenecking it here. Mistakes were made, but we caught them. Oops. Uh, so this will go here. It's not perfectly symmetrical, but it'll do. And now we blueprint. I guess it wouldn't hurt to actually test it after all that, considering I found a mistake just by saying out loud we don't actually need to test it. Seems like a good idea. And it should reach full throughput shortly. Which is to say, not bottlenecked by our output belt, or these inserters, or anything. Alright. Take two. Uh... Beam. Steel, beam, snap to grid, 86, 25, and 1. Train stop names, yes. Don't need the infinity chest. And the rest is good to go. And for some reason it changed the grid position on me. There we go. Alright. Um, I guess this can go under metals. Now where do we build it? Am I carrying the uh, pylons? Still? Yes. Where do we want to build steel beams? Probably relatively close to steel. There's steel here, and there's steel here. That's iron, actually. I don't like how the iron ingot... I, I think uh, this icon right here, where we convert iron ingot to iron plate, the plate doesn't look like the Crastorio 2 plate. It makes me think it's steel plate. But it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, there's steel plate here as well. Um, I might build it here. It's probably fine instead of up with this mess. I'm gonna need to go get some. Pylon substations. Mm -hmm. 
and I'll go visit that personally. Are we going to check back on the miners you placed in Editor? I completely forgot about those, not gonna lie. Uh, here they are. I don't know why when I zoom in like this and then switch to Navsat, it snaps back to where I was. But... We actually need to void this. Um, let's just put in some... of these. And... I don't think that's enough, actually. Okay, how about this? That'll get the job done. Actually, we're super, super bottlenecked on these belts. Um, do it here as well. So that could remove, like, at first 180 per second, but it'll be halved once this is empty. I didn't actually consider that the containers would get full. Alright, over we go. Let's get our construction train to meet us there. Wait for inactivity. I forgot to get some beacons. Actually, I should double check right now. Did we get some... We got zero catalogs delivered here because I forgot I split those two rail networks. Uh, sorry, logistic networks. Um, could I perhaps not direct insert these and set this one so that there has to be energy catalog times something. Energy catalog, greater than... 10 is probably plenty. Make 10 wide area beacons at once when we come back. Looks like I brought... Oh yeah, I needed the uh, substations. The pylons. That's why I'm coming here personally. Alright, looks like that is basically done already, even if a little slow for the moment. Uh, and then we're going to do rail, which... I love this spaghetti over here. Can I fit another rail block down here without it interfering with that? Not quite. It's probably fine if the construction train goes back. Alright. I'll do our... Our rail train block. Right next to the... Uh, steel beam block. And once more some pylons and I haven't actually designed it yet that might help all right where's our construction train it's busy let's jump into the editor and start afresh Just got Bio 3 up and going, and now I have all Science 4s to start. 
on the home stretch. Nice. The beginning of the end. Although Naquium is quite a stretch as well, in and of itself. Uh, I guess we don't need any of these if we're going to have the pylons. Why don't I just run my deconstruction planner, deconstruction planner over them? And then can we do the same layout, perhaps? Uh, except we'll need two products in, one product out. What kind of rate do we get, though? I'm pretty sure we can't prod module this. We cannot. So it's probably going to be too fast. Unless I don't want to put modules in the machines themselves. That would be 250 per second. That's kind of a lot. Two forty per second. It's not that much slower. Um, how many belts is that? Five point that. So I think we're going to trim this down a little bit. One sixty. One twenty. Uh, we need surprisingly few. Actually, no. I thought about this already. If I send it up as stone and steel beam, it's less stack efficient. So we're not going to use a space manufactory for it. Unless I do some cheese where I put down a uh, spaceship floor. And uh, put a space manufactory on top of it. John Boy, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, but yeah, I think we're going to need pretty few machines for this one. Maybe I should... Just build it into this block. That actually makes a ton of sense. We can just do a steel plate filter up here. And we'll request stone as well. Doesn't even have to be under the beacon. I guess we could ratio it to be under the beacon. Uh, so if this goes here... And so on. We'll have a... Probably put the uh, station on the right side here just because of the spacing. How close to the middle can I put this? One off, of course. Let's do maybe like this. Can't really squeeze it under the beacon if I do that. Do I care? Oh, I have a better idea. Why don't we just do the rail output down here, even if this is going to be more uh, beams at some point. It's only half a stack per second, less than that, going into here now, so there won't be that much uh, train traffic. And we could probably just 
let's suppose we do put another one of these over here later on. I could probably just take from this chest to supply the rail. Oops, rail. Rail doesn't go into science like it does in vanilla or SE without K2. It literally just goes into space rail, bulk rail loader, and bulk rail unloader. So I think literally, it, we really don't have to think about our rate here very much. I think just a machine or two is probably fine. Um, so I might just put it here. And we could direct insert. How fast does it consume? 2.5 per second and 5 per second. Okay. So this is going to be stone. And steel plate plus stone. I'm just going to request a couple of train loads of each. And this is going to go way down here. Hmm. Can I do a nice symmetrical build here, or what? Not really, because the stone is 5 per second. I need a splitter. I want to, I want to use loaders for this. Unless we literally just have the one machine. Five rail per second, 20 seconds for a stack. What if we look at the graph? How fast have we been consuming rail all time? And why, oh, there it is. All time rail, how about a thousand hours? Uh, rail consumption is what I'm looking for. Don't know why so many things come up when I search for rail. What if I search for track or something? Nope. What is rail called in the debug? Straight dash rail. Okay. Straight dash rail. There we go. Uh, over the last 10 hours, 7.4 per minute. 1.8 per minute all time. 0. Point, uh, the 1000 hour graph says 0. 0.6 per minute. Um, somehow production is 5.2 per minute, but consumption... Oh, it's probably only, it's probably only counting consumption when it goes into a recipe. So really we're looking at like 5.2 per minute. Okay, either way, um, I'm pretty sure one machine is enough for the entire playthrough. 300 per minute. Is it worth plague bombing hostile planets or is it too much of a hassle? I've never tried it myself. Depends on the planet. Alright, let's put this here. And... That's it. Actually, do it like this. And limit the front, and B 
the usual, and so on. So the back one can fill up as much as we like. Always push to the front. Uh, limit the front to one cargo wagon. Set a... Provide stack threshold higher than a train load. Rail provider. Um, provide stack threshold 160. Short trains, yes, that's good. And set our train limit to something above zero. If we've got more than uh, 120 sacks of rail, so 12k. Oh, I'm glad I did the math on how much rail we've actually been placing, how quickly over time. So this is, uh, this should be more than enough. Because it don't go into the science. And we can literally just paste this on top of our existing build. Well, except for the part where there's rail that's going to be in the way here. But let's update... Well, on second thought, if I literally just need one of these for the entire playthrough, I don't think I want the steel beam blueprint to include the rail. Let's get rid of all that. And... Not sure why there's bits left all over the place. Oh, because random things did get built. There should be a signal here as well. Something like this is fine, I guess, probably. Robots, do your thing. I don't think I'll get rid of those... That's fine. Alright, so we remove this, we paste, and it's a done. If I had my loaders, which I can only handcraft one of right now, uh, let's get the construction train to visit. Should only take a second. But just to be sure. And now we can configure our train station. Or our train, rather. Actually, I think the train stop needs to exist, which it should already. Okay. Pick up rail, full cargo. Drop off rail, empty cargo. Speed module it as well. What does it output? 300 per minute. And uh, we did the math. We're looking at straight rail for the entire playthrough. We've produced it at a rate of about... Oh, I guess... Hang on. This is 10 hours. No, that's not 10 hours, is it? 50 hours, 250. That's a lot. Um, how many hours is this? Is it 42? I don't know. Uh, 19.9 .9 per minute over the last 250 hours, on average, is how much rail we've produced, and this can do 300 per minute. So it's several times faster, even without... Uh, any help. Of course, we do need the stone delivered here. I almost forgot. Stone. It will be enough, indeed. Uh, 8k. Couple of train loads. 
stone is on its way. That's a very short trip to pick up the stone. Very convenient. Fantastic. And that just leaves a beacon, though I'm not really even using steel beam at the moment. Did I get this train started? I did not. I think we're good to go, though. Research hasn't restarted. Is that intended? It's not intended, but I don't particularly care. Um, when did it stop, I wonder? Science pack. Consumption. Why, why do I find copper cable when I search for science pack? Very, very strange. Uh, it hasn't... It's really been dead for 4.5 hours? Huh. I would have thought we'd get a little bit of it... I guess I fixed uh, energy catalog, but not whatever else is broken. We don't have Astro because... Uh, we don't have... Infrared. We don't have frames. We don't have coal. Well, that's definitely something we can fix. We've got coal right here. And... You know, I'm beginning to wonder if there even is anything that I want to research that badly. There probably is, for energy too. I mean, stack, stack size alone would be nice. Oh, we can get the big tank. I kind of want to try that. But yeah, like, the number of things I'm going to have to find out that we need... Um, and add to the requests over here. I guess I could go through the list of stuff that we were sending up by, uh, by cargo rocket. And make sure they're all on these combinators. But it's going to be a little bit of a slog. To request all those things to keep this spaghetti science going. Right then. How many trains? Oh, wow. 4, 8, 10, 11, 12. 12 resources that we don't have more of to go upstairs. And upstairs isn't saturated. But it looks like half of them are going to be tech cards, so I'm really not worried about that. Uranium, I'm not surprised. Tech card. Rod 1. Rough data storage. Tech card. Rail, I expected that. Tech card. Beryllium ingots doesn't surprise me. Module, tech card, module, tech card. So it's basically tech cards, modules... Rail, which is fine. Beryllium ingots, which is maybe less fine. Um, well, we've got our... Oh. I didn't even think of that. We end up with ingots here, but not in here. Well, we should just saturate it to fix it regardless. On second thought, we're going to have to fill all of this with plate before we have a train load of ingots available. It seems to be working out fine for the other resources, though. Um, it's more an, an issue that we don't have enough barrel. How is our barrel flow? Barrel core fragments have not been in motion for a while. 
Why is this? Um. No, really, why is this? We've got plenty of barrel core fragments here. Is this it? Oh, I think it's because we're consuming barrel, uh, like, directly, instead of... Like, it, it's getting consumed at an equal or higher priority, just implicitly. Yeah, it looks like our beryllium ingot production hasn't slowed down. Beryllium ingot. It's actually been super consistent. I guess it's just a bit slow. Um, we might want to bring some beacons down here. Because I've already got two of these builds. Speaking of which... Uh, we should have... Where are our catalogs? Here they are. Oh, there's actually tons of energy catalog. Alright, let's get some beacons. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to grab. I think I'll do a multi-use uh, train to take certain things down from orbit. And I'll just make it wait until it's... F like, I'll set it up kind of like I did with the cargo rockets. It'll f fill up with a bunch of different stuff. And it'll leave when it's full. And maybe I'll also make it leave regularly just to make sure... Um, we don't end up with, like, one resource missing. Or I could do some logic, like, if any one resource is less than X on the, uh, on the planet side, do send the train. I'll have to think about this one. I haven't, uh, I mean, it's basically just a smaller version of multi-cargo rockets. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, but yeah, let's grab some... We're not having any trouble making energy catalog compared to the other ones at the moment. But we do need them for space rail, and we need them for... Uh, wide area beacons. Let's drop them in here. Do we have rail here? I could just have the mole make the space rail. We've got 8.8k, actually. So, yeah. Space rail. A um, couple of thousand, please, at least. And I'll have to request... Energy catalog. Not that one. And we'll add that to the whitelist. Fantastic. Crafting Combinator should start trying to make space rail. Not yet, actually. Because it's trying to make space belt and pipe. Is it... It's out of LDS and glass, I think. We've got a little bit of glass here, and zero low-density structures. Alright, let's get heat shield with LDS. Um, glass as well. Should summon a train when we're down to like a thousand. Did we get wide area beacons done just now? Oh no, I didn't drop these in. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, 
Okay. I guess I'll have to do a vanilla drop-off in the mall, preferably. Because that's where we're going to produce all the little things that I want to have automatically taken downstairs. There's a few science packs and four data cards lying around here that I don't want going to waste. What is all this? Oh no, what a mess. I think we need to systematically export crap that doesn't belong here. Uh. Science packs. Where are they? Energy 2, that's fine. Wait, let me look here again. Uh, we're just looking for prod science pack. There it is. Get out of here. Okay. More of science is moving. I don't... It doesn't necessarily mean it's fixed. There's yellow cards in your mall as well. Tech card. It's actually only the yellow cards. Yeah, it's just the random... Like, really random and arbitrary bot... Uh, selection of where to put things into storage. Also, there's three research servers. Wow, that's a lot of SIG data. That might help. Oh my goodness. Um, 100, 233 significant data just chilling over here. We've also got... I, I did just bring the catalogs. Atomic data, 50 broad catalogs. Oh my goodness. Uh, I should make a request a chest and just list all these things one by one. What an absolute mess. Could the bots take these away any slower? Fantastic. Let's search for card. We've got 963 blank data cards. I hope they're all in this chest. Looks like it. No, don't... Ah, oh, you're too fast. Um, how about I drop off some stuff here? Something you can just give straight back to me. And go. Alright. Tech cards. Catalog. We've got atomic data, broad catalog. And that's basically it, because energy catalog, even though there's, wait, how does that, how did that number just, how does it flick between 200 and, what, why does our number of energy catalogs according to the logistic network search fluctuate by like 10 at a time? It must be the negatives when bots are picking things up. I probably counted in there. Um, anyway. Where are the material catalogs? Or was it broad material catalog? It was broad. It's much more valuable. Okay, I think those just go here, right?
anyway. I wonder what's missing now. Which types of tech cards do we have here? Energy 2. I mean, not just tech cards. Uh, let's see. We've got material, astro, energy, energy. I don't have material 2. So presumably that's the one that's most broken. Comprehensive. Uh, compressive, rather. Concrete. Yeah, I think there's no concrete. Okay, I don't think I've done a block for bringing up concrete, so I have to do another one of these. Let me just add a tag to remind myself. Because I think I'm going to need a little break first. We don't have concrete here, do we? Like Alright, so concrete is going to be next on the list. I don't think it's included over here somehow. I must have just brought up a huge amount of concrete arbitrarily once, and that was all that was needed for a long time. Rip me, just lost 45 minutes of gameplay from a crash. Ouch. Seek data as well? Yeah, that was a lot of seek data. It's also a lot of copper here, for some reason. Probably from recycling. Why don't I copy this thing? Down here somewhere. Wiring is a bit of a mess, but the basic idea is there. We need a bunch of combinators up here. Um, don't have to worry about those fluids. We've got coal. Let's get stone. Rocket fuel. Stack size 10, so like 900. Every type of tech card. We have tens of thousands of all of them. I can't be bothered this instant. Except for the type that we're making on the spot. Um, we've already done rare metals. We need rail, apparently. Oh, that was to make the space rail. Which, we're going to move where we're making that. Love, Kelly. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Vulcanite, sure. Um... Just over one train load. Ingots of all types. Barrel stack size is even bigger. Chromium and Iridium. And these stacks to 20. 1600. Uranium. Lithium. Uh, I 
think we already did rough. Sulfur. Let's do it over here. And... Immersium Crystal. Water Ice. Stacks to 200. I wonder why a train isn't bringing any of these yet. Is our LTN train okay? Uh-oh, what's this? Oh, wow. Um, I didn't even realize. We need more depot over here. Look at that. Okay. You really do need way more places to park trains with vanilla trains. Uh, where's our depot? Is this it? Vanilla depot L double C L. Seems good. For the most part. Let's get our construction train to pay it a little visit. Okay. I did say I needed a break, but... We've got a whole lot of stuff happening right now. Heat shield... LDS... Oh wait, I didn't notice yet. Why is the LTN train not doing anything? It looks like it's ready to go. So, I'm really not sure with all these resources I just requested. Let's double check. Ice, 80 times 200 is 16k, we're requesting 17k. Oh, that might help, but I did add a bunch of stuff over here as well. We probably haven't run out of those resources yet, that's probably why. Alright, cool. Shield LDS. Um, silicon. Glass. Don't need steel plate. We've got steel ingots. Small electric motor. Three types of circuits. We'll do those in a sec. How about plastic over here? Immersium plate is a hundred. Electronic components. Actually, do we need electronic components here? I think it's to make the... the efficiency ones and nothing else. So probably just request... the actual modules instead. Motors are missing? As in single cylinder? I think we found that we don't actually put single cylinder uh, into anything up here. Or big electric motors. What do they go into besides? Who knows? We don't actually have prod ones here, do we? No, I don't think we uh, 
got around to needing that in the spaghetti. And we'll need three kinds of circuits. Okay. That should be everything until we run out of tech cards, in which case we can hopefully move on to some proper rail blocks by then. Um, I guess I never did update this with the scaffolding. Don't need the corners. Apparently there's a bit missing over there, but who cares? That goes here. And the bots eventually... Oh, we already placed a... Wait, what? How do you not have any scaffold? Uh-oh. Scaffolding, 1.1k. Shouldn't actually be a problem. Uh, we are doing it with the autocrafter, and we got stuck for a while. Ben, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mini motors are in request chest. Small electric motor request didn't take with autosave. Oh, didn't it? Sneaky. Very sneaky. Okay. 5,000. Alright, cool. That should be functional for a while. Uh, we do need to get concrete into it. Before we do that, we need to add a depot here. Why is everything red? Because there's not enough scaffolding. Wait until scaffolding equals 2200 and then get back over here. And then wait indefinitely. I'm not this good in English, so that's fine. From Germany, sorry, guten Tag. You also don't need LDS app science, only for scaffolding. Uh, really? No LDS for science, that feels weird. We need LDS for space transport belt, which we need for science. It's right here. That's for the basic uh, space science pack. Where is our train? Oh, I see the problem. We're trying to load pylons. What goes into pylon? Oh, it's not that... There's no holmium cable here. Uh, we're doing that on the ground. But I can probably steal some from here. 250, because I limited it. Just give it a quick fix. And it really is a quick fix, though. How much is needed for one of these? 16. Yeah, that's no good. Um, Alright, so concrete, holmium cable, we definitely need to add those here. Um, and I don't know what else. Uh, 
I think I better take a break before my brain goes completely numb. Let's hop in the old train. Uh, why don't we just give it some scaffolding? How much is this? 1.1k. Just build what we can. And for now, I'll jump into LTN screensaver. Looks like you're making efficiency modules in the spaghetti. Yes, I am. That was why we used to need uh, electronic components. But it's probably more efficient to do it on the ground. Alright, we'll start some words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and oh, wait a sec, let me make sure I set this up properly. I think I missed a step. There we go. Alright, words on stream, 30 seconds, I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. There's a train no pathing above Cryonite Rod Build. Cryonite Rod Build. Cryonite Rod Build? No path, where are you trying to go? To pick up... Huh. Oh. Pick up beryllium ingots over here. Oh, I see the problem. That's a pretty simple solution right there. I'll just get construction train to pay it a visit, and that'll be that. Good catch, thank you. Alright, words on th uh, stream, 30 seconds, go.
Okay. Nicely done. Fantastic. Let's continue with Factorio, shall we? And where were we? I feel a little refreshed, but uh, suddenly drawing a blank on exactly what we were doing. Oh yeah, we needed to add a block for at least two more resources to bring up the spell evader. Um, but before we do that, we need more parking spots for our vanilla trains. So it looks like... Um, did we get all of the scaffolding? Hold on. Tile ghosts, that's what I'm looking for. We did get all of the scaffolding. So let's grab our blueprint. I think I should put this over here. And that doesn't look quite right. What? Oh, this is, uh... This still has the old power poles. I don't want that. Did I not make an updated blueprint? I suppose not. Alright, let's copy-paste from here then. And I kind of want to fill these out as well. Oh wow, that was quick. Get in there, trains. Oh, so the queue to get up the space elevator has been resolved. No space trains? Uh, not just yet. I wanted to get, uh, like, stuff actually working in space first. Like, get, get the proper beginnings of a rail block system in space, where we're not you know, all of the resources that we need to get a trickle of science out of our old spaghetti. We've at least got that, and then some. Um, so it looks like this is finished, except that we're missing some space belt. And Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, did we get our pylons? No, we need a uh, we need holmium cable brought up. Oh, and concrete. Oh, oh where was it? Pylon. Yeah, Holmium Cable and Concrete, the two things we were planning on bringing here regardless. Uh, I also haven't brought up Aeroframe Pole yet. Aeroframe Pole. So, I think I'd like to just scrounge together what we need to finish this block and bring those resources up so that we can fully automate that stuff properly. Give me that Holmium cable. Oh, there's a bunch here. I'll take it. And I really probably shouldn't even limit this at all. Did I do a Holmium Cable build on the ground? I think I did. Yeah, here it is. Rod modules and everything. Um, but for now we need a bunch to get our construction train loaded properly. Uh, we also need concrete. I might just go grab some of that myself. 
since I'm pretty sure 25 stacks or so will keep us going until we actually get the train to bring it in. Still carrying that atomic data. Um, I have to go all the way up here for lots of concrete. Unless... The mole, for example. Yeah. Should be a large amount there. What else was I coming downstairs for? I think it was pretty much just concrete. Uh, I could bring some Holmium cable as well while I'm at it. If I can find it, there it is. Give me the Holmium cable. could work around it, but basically the train isn't getting its scaffolding loaded because it doesn't have enough stuff, um, pylons and things that we need holmium cable and concrete for. And it's very strict with the ordering that it puts the um, stuff into the train. I could make it not so strict, but then we wouldn't be able to control the stack sizes. Alright, so there's our pylons. Um, we should also have a bunch of scaffolding back here, is what I was going to say before I remembered. Um, we don't actually... We don't actually have any scaffolding left here. I remember trying to use some. Is your thermodynamics auto crafter working properly? It should be. I copy pasted it from. Hmm. What's it trying to make? Iron. Oh, 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 it's got no output chest. There we go. That probably means this one has the same issue. Just go build that. Yeah, not output chest, but rather overflow chest for the crafting combinator. So it's trying to switch recipe, but um, it doesn't have anywhere to put the iron. So in 30 seconds it'll dump the... less than 30 seconds it'll dump the iron into here and switch to a different recipe. Actually, no. It's, um... What's up with this one? This is different. It's trying to smelt iron. It's got iron. What? Uh... I, I don't... I don't know what happened there. That was weird. Anyway. Back after my lunch. Holy crap, it was delicious. Nice. Don't need this here anymore. Don't think I need these here anymore. Um... What the heck else was I doing? Well, I'll take these, uh, extra... Extra catalogs. Oh wait, that's broad. Get out of here. We've run out of beryllium plate now. I think we have a million beryllium ingots though. In this block. I 
actually passive should be fine. Actually, I should have remembered that those should be in the robot network here. Beryllium ingot... No, plate. I think the recipe doesn't have ingot in the name. There we go. Currently got 4.4k ingots. Um, I should probably request plate here though, but... I'll wait until we go through those ingots first. Or I could just request exactly a train load. Uh, 200 times 80. Sixteen K. Hickory ham cheese tomato lettuce sandwich. Sounds nice. Glad you enjoyed it. Alright, so we're still not putting scaffolding in here. We're still looking for a few more lighted pylon substations. Because we're looking for even more holmium cable. Uh, there you go. Don't know why I'm carrying ingots. Iridium ingots. This is taking longer than I thought I sh uh, than I thought it would. Maybe I should just make it skip the pylons for a minute. No, I think it's. It really doesn't take long once it gets those cables. Alright, uh, let's just reduce the request for these two. Uh, and now it's looking for scaffolding. Autocrafter doesn't ever seem to get to scaffolding at the moment. Let's just put a scaffolder build here. And... Scaffolding, cut rod, give it some speed. We'll do that as well as the auto crafter. It, I don't. I'll just double check. There's no scaffolding over here. There's 862. Where did that come from? Did I just forget that I dropped it off? Whatever the case, I'll take it. Oh. Oh, we have this machine gradually, diligently churning it out. Fantastic. Alright. Get in there. And which build do we need to build first? Probably this one. We need 1.5, 1.6k scaffolding. That is less than a thousand. Not what I want to see. Have some steel plate. Have a more urgent request for steel plate. Have some... Steel... Huh. Okay, there's no ingots here. Let's actually just request the steel plate. Actually, um, let me move this. Iron plate. Copper plate. Sure, we'll need those at some point. Steel plate. And there should be iron plate on its way. Copper. We've only got the one LTN train in this network at the moment. I'll just go grab. Actually, we'll break down this. Steel ingots. Let's 
Scaffolding takes a bit longer to build than I thought it would. Hmm. So how much have we got? Probably like 1.2k. And that's including what's over here. Oh, there's like 16. That's not what I want to see. Uh, how about we remove the bonus stuff for the moment? So this is 1.2. Still a little bit over. Okay. Apparently I've run out of speed modules, no? Oh, my Robopot wasn't switched on. What's our rate here for scaffolding? 78, oh that's per minute. 1.3 per second, that's not what I want to hear, but we just need like two minutes at that rate to go build our block. I guess I could at least build like half of it, we just need to start getting some of these resources on their way, except, well, okay, how about I park the train here? Because the bots build pieces of scaffolding very, very randomly. I want to park the train a bit further away. So that it doesn't cover the whole thing with its construction range. Zaxxon, name and base? No worries. Um, down here? This is the pop popular spot now, I think. Or we can put it wherever you like. Let me just double check I didn't have a request for that. As well. I think I cleared them. Up we go. Or was it down we go? Space spaghetti, indeed. Wait, you want your name in the space spaghetti? You know we're going to remove it one day, right? Uh, let's see. Viewer rewards, channel points, and so on. Name in base. We also have old busk. I knew there was one I missed. Oh no, it's here. Okay, cool. And AMC. Okie dokie. AMC. I think we'll put that there. Fantastic. How much range did this have? About the same as before, I think. Yeah, let's put our construction train a little bit closer. And we should get half of this block built so that we can add four different resources. Actually, I'm going to end up wanting to paste the blueprint on top of it again, aren't I? Uh, okay. Let's send the construction train back. It should actually have everything it needs this time. Wait until... Scaffolding greater than... I don't know how much it's going to pick up, actually. We'll just check on it in, in a minute. Or 
Rebo port on. Fantastic. Oh, this is an opportunity, kind of. I want to go get rid of these random bits of scaffolding underneath some of our pylon substations that are not necessary. And over here. Yeah, it doesn't work when there's actually something above it, even if it's marked for deconstruction. Very weird. I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, in the vanilla game, are there any buildings that don't need landfill or something to sit on? I think the answer's no, as far as I can recall. And I hope that's all of them. I don't think so. Get back in my inventory, please. Let's check on that rail build. Rail... I didn't actually put a thing here. Steel beam. And rail. Rail goes here. Uh, yep, that's more than a train load. It's doing fine. Oh, we still haven't finished building this uh, depot properly. Still trying to load up on scaffolding. We've got 1k. That should be enough for what we're trying to do here. Wait for inactivity. And then come down here. Wait for, inac uh, wait for empty cargo. Fantastic. We can make holmium solenoids on the ground. Looks like we could get uh, prod bonuses for those. Yes, we can. Right, I definitely want to do that. So let's go with... I should have moved these over to the side. I'm just going to type... Concrete... Holmium... Cable... Arrow pole... That's our list of stuff that we definitely need to bring up. Please don't tell me that's not enough scaffolding. No, oh, there's like 300 left here. They're just building things in weird orders. Whenever you're ready. There we go. Oh, that's rail signals as well. Do we have signals? How do we not have signals? Probably because I didn't automate them? I thought I... It's on the auto crafter, and the auto crafter was struggling because no holmium cable and stuff which we're trying to fix now. 
Uh, okay. We got it. It's fine if there are some ghosts here, as long as I can set up these next three resources. Alright, so... Holmium Fable? Holmium Solenoid? Uh, I need some... Multi-end train stops, apparently. Oh, there we go. That would probably help. Got some stuff missing and it's annoying, but we can... We can work with this. Um, Holmium cable is going to go here. Solenoid. And I wanted to do multiple barrel things next to each other. There's like three of them though. Let's do arrow frame pole down here. Wait, let me check. Pole, scaffold, bulkhead, pressure vessel. I'm pretty sure uh, all of those can be made on the ground. Pressure vessel, maybe not. Pressure vessel, space manufacturing. Okay, so that's three things. Uh, bio scrubber, I guess. Nope. That's chemical plant. Chemical plant. Bio scrubber. What module? Okay, so we could... I mean, this isn't really related to these, it's just kind of a similar colour. Whatever, we'll put these two together regardless. Uh, and we do need concrete. I'll put concrete and stone brick together. I'm 70% sure we're still going to be needing stone brick up in space. Makes concrete fuel processor. Maybe not, actually. Because we don't use these as a prereq for space assembly machines. Yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no reason to bring concrete into space. I mean, stone brick. Okay. Uh, what else would I want to put here? It's kind of similar to concrete. Good question. Uh, let's just put these three together. And we'll put concrete here. Seems good. Alright then. We could stop bobbing around. Concrete. Goes here. Concrete passive provider. Uh, this one is bulkhead. Uh, 
Pocket. This is a, a Holmium cable. And this is Holmium solenoid. Alright. Uh, can I handcraft a couple of these? Two bulk rail unloaders. I can. Let's make sure we put the right ones down. One, two, three, four, five. And apparently my Roboport is on, actually. Whoops. Let's send the train back. Uh, and I think that's it. We need to start making the train. Except for the part that we need to do on the ground as well. Let's get our ground construction train to pay a visit to this block. If only to drop off a combinator. Crank this up to 160 stacks. That looks pretty good, actually. Where's our construction train? Here it comes. Alright, set train limit to the resource. If resource greater than a train load and a half, um, 6,000, output that, and LTN provide stack threshold to train loads. Seems good. Uh, and then we just need to... Holmium cable, this, that, and the other. That should be full cargo, not empty. Full, I mean empty cargo. Go pick up some Holmium cable. And at last we can bring it over here without much issue. We'll do the same for Holmium Solenoid. Even though we haven't built it yet. Concrete. It's going to be 9,000. Oh, we need some space belt here as well. But that's sort of neither here nor there. Oh, crap. That is not an unloader. There we go. So this one is concrete. We've already set it up here, I think. We have a concrete pick up down here. Once again, we need a drive-by. By the construction train. And we'll need a vanilla train for this one specific resource. Much efficient. Train isn't loading solar panels? Uh oh. Has the CME happened yet? The one we build a stream battery, a steam battery for? Uh, on Granis? Yes, it has. That was a minute ago. Set train limit to concrete. Concrete, concrete, greater than uh, 12k. 
Oh, this is actually balanced to... S oh, it's theoretically balanced. Whatever, it's probably fine. You can easily saturate concrete. Uh, that looks okay to me. Concrete, concrete. Full cargo. Empty cargo. And go. And we need our construction train back over here. We do have the solar panel. Yeah, it's just not getting around to the solar panels because it's trying to load the scaffolding that we don't have first. Uh, we do have our space belt though. That's what we really need right now. And wait for inactivity. I think I can get rid of that tag now. Concrete homium cable aeropole. I've already marked this for aeropole. We may as well set up aeropole while we're at it though. We've actually got that. One less thing to have to remember later on. And we'll need a decider combinator. And the usual. At this point, it feels like I should have a construction train that is just decider combinators. Just the fastest possible. One wagon, one locomotive. Just drive by and drop a... Drop a decider combinator as quickly as possible. Have you built any LTN trains up here yet? Uh, yeah, I've built one for solids and one for fluids. We don't have a whole lot of demand up here just yet. can't see the train coming. Let's do our train schedule. Uh, aero, frame pulp. It's after the depot, empty cargo, full cargo, and off you go. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Send it to the depot instead. So we can get this done while it's en route. And hopefully not cause any weird behavior. Aeroframe poll. Output. Aeroframe poll. Input count. If greater than... Uh, 6k. Because it's stack size 50. Fantastic. Uh, Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Accidental Granus Focus. We've still got loads of steam. When's the next CME? CME. Uh, Nalvis. Don't care. Even if I wasn't prepared for it, which I am. Is our train getting loaded with bulk loader and unloaders? Uh, good question. Where is it? It's heading back now. It's kind of hard to find out, but it looks like it doesn't. Bulk loaders and unloaders. They are in here. It's probably just trying to load too much of something. That we're never getting around to crafting with our four things in the auto crafter. We need small electric motor. That should get delivered in just a second. Fantastic. Resources run out too fast. How big are your mines? Uh, my mines? I mean, we've, we've got quite a lot of them. We've also got a lot of core mining. I like to lean as heavily on core mining as I reasonably can because I don't find building and replacing these things to be the most engaging part of 
Factorio. Um, but like, I can't think of a. I can't think of a basic resource that we're bottlenecked on right now. It's all processing or something like that. Basically, you just want to set it up so that your bottlenecks are kind of like, uh, it gets narrower as you get closer to the final product that you're making. So you, you, you get enough iron ore to saturate your furnaces, you get enough furnaces to saturate your demand for iron plate, and so on. Um, are our trains okay? With the Holmium cable, for example? This one is packed with Holmium cable. It's waiting its turn to come over here, I guess. Are we missing signal? There's one signal missing here. Right here. Train should be moving now. No? Oh, the signal's missing up here as well. That might help. Also, construction train. Still trying to get more scaffolding. Um, but do we have signals? We're not loading signals because... We're trying to put in vanilla train stops that we don't have. Why don't we have vanilla train stops? Because we're making other things. Seems like somehow we just never catch up on space belt and space pipe. Hmm. Combinator needs changing for Holmium Cable? Which one? Oh, this one? No, we've got it here. It's just the, uh... We're missing signals up here to get the... Holmium Cable train moving. It doesn't have path... Oh, it looks like it does now. Destination full. Did I... Oh, 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 I know what it is. I know what it is. I haven't updated these. This is like a safety uh, mechanism to make sure we don't get trains going in when I haven't finished. It's not anything. It's supposed to be everything. So it uh, returns true if it's empty. Cool. And quite soon there should be... Uh, Altian train coming to pick these up. There's our concrete as well. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that new life support UI next to this uh, quick bar? Yes, it is. I love it. Much better than the clunky huge window it used to have. Yes, this is very true. And you can turn it on and off pretty easily. Alright, so that's our concrete as well. That's our Holmium cable. Uh, we do not yet have Holmium solenoids because we haven't made them yet. And same deal for Aeroframe bulkheads. I just kind of wanted to put them close to these other barrel things. Uh, we should have sticks though. Aeroframe poles. We do. Fantastic. Destination full, probably again because of this. And yeah, we actually do have the signals to make that work. Fantastic. Uh, I can't remember why we need poles over here, but we may as well summon them. Let's check. Aeroframe pole goes into jetpack, pilot, we need it, yep, 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 yep. 
arrow frame pull 5k beautiful whoa scary all right so this oh this is supposed to be limited at the front. Not sure how we missed that. Probably because I had to, like, replace them manually or something? I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, here's our train, picking up Holmium Cable. And we should now be able to keep building all of these things in the Autocrafter without waiting 600 years for some manually delivered Holmium Cable. Uh, looks like we need blue circuits, to the surprise of no one. Let's do... Green circuit... No, it's actually like 17k, isn't it? Red circuit... Blue circuit... Fantastic. Yeah, having only four machines for the autocrafter, even if they are super fast, uh, is definitely not helping anything. Because we don't get around the prerequisites and stuff like that. Don't do enough things in parallel as well. Of course, four is enough if we manage to supply it with everything, but it's a bit more resilient. It's a lot more resilient when we've got eight. Alright, I came here for speed modules, because I'm going to speed up the autocrafter, because there are just a couple of recipes, like uh, space pipe, that are agonizingly slow. Put more speed modules in them, indeed, exactly. Not Steel Mage, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. To be clear, most recipes in the uh, in those giant machines, uh, even without speed modules, they get built so quickly that the inserters can't keep up. Um, literally like a frame of animation um, on the on the machine, it just sort of twitches and a recipe is done. But space pipe, uh, space pipe takes 10 seconds for one piece of pipe normally, with a crafting speed of one that is, and that's not helping anything. Emo, and not still mage, good to see you again, welcome welcome, hope you're doing well. I would just move the high quality items to smaller crafters. Uh, we're fine. Alright, so where are our poles? Hmm? We do have them here. Probably this is the part where I regret having only one LTN train. I'll go pick up some poles myself. Frame pull. Gimme, gimme, gimme. That'll probably keep it going for a bit. I love how we go from having nothing to just utterly saturated in Holmium Cable, for example, in the space of a couple of minutes. Alright, there's our cable, I mean pole. Finally we're making, wow, space rail. Okay, the recipe takes a while, but oh, Jesus, that's fast. 
The recipe takes a while, but it is a hundred space rail for each recipe. Um, I wonder what science is stuck on now. We have everything but material two, it looks like. Material two is needing insight. Uh, which comes from here, I believe. Oh, so basically, oh, I think I made it so that, hmm, well, that's not the problem right now, but I think I made it so that material one insight has to be saturated before material two gets anything. Um, but that said, it is, oh, it's concrete. We have that now. Let's go. Concrete. Okay. And is our train busy? It is. No path. Oh, we need the signals. Is our train loaded with signals? Uh, not really. It's missing basic ones. Alright, just give me the signals. You know what, let's both go. Wait for inactivity. And wait for... Inactivity. And up here as well. Hopefully that will be all of the missing signals. Just curious, does your solar system have stone core fragments? My game has not. Uh, I don't believe it does. Oh, I forgot. I can't just... This isn't just my solar system anymore. I guess I can sort by delta V. Hmm... How about the hierarchy? That isn't quite... Oh, here it is. Uh, yeah, we don't have any stone ore fragments. I did have a big, a huge planet, actually, last playthrough. With stone core fragments. Oh, I've... apparently my roboport wasn't working from inside the train. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I had a huge stone planet with uh, way too many biters in my last playthrough. I never actually got around to colonizing it. Stone wasn't as difficult um, with SE.5 compared to SEK2 with 0.6. We need a lot more stone this time. Alright, let's do a ghost's pl a decon planner. It looks like the only thing we're missing until we go over here is solar panels. Nice. And I guess I'll just drop off all these signals while I'm here. Fantastic. All right. Not yet unlocked a source of infinite wood. My green circuits need stone. Uh, yeah, stone is... Stone is kind of easier slash better, but wood is actually infinite. Um... It's not vanilla SE, right? Otherwise, I don't think there is an infinite source of wood. Um, but it's not too difficult to set up greenhouses. Actually, I say that, and I remember it was actually really difficult to scrounge some wood together at the start of the game. Uh, we started in the middle of the snow biome on Nalvis, and there was just 
Like, I actually had to go a long way to get little twigs of wood together. Um, to get things started. Oh, wow. Oh, I just never built this. I thought it got destroyed. That's fine. Play vanilla SE. Yeah, I don't think there is an infinite wood source. How's the solar block doing? Unlocked tier 2? Uh, no, we haven't. Flat solar requires... Oh, energy 2. First we need... Aeroframe scaffold. But I think... Oh, that's actually easy. Once we get it. Yeah. Um, so as soon as concrete gets delivered up here... Well, I guess I could give it a hand. Concrete. I hope concrete is the last thing we need to get the science spaghetti moving again. I thought bioscience was hiding a wood making tech. Uh, there might have been something with bio sludge that I never used. I could be wrong about that. One way or the other. There we go. I hope that's the last piece of the puzzle. It's probably harder than just, like, building signs to begin with. After turning off the cargo rockets, figuring out which resources were missing one by one. The, uh, the LTN train is going through a big burst of requests right now. It's actually just delivering concrete now. Timing. Are we requesting steel over here? Yes, we are. Fantastic. Uh, so we're just missing... Rail signals, combinators, loaders, and some pulverizers. Why are we not making rail signals? Because we're making space belts, as is often the case. And apparently there is just never enough steel. Why don't we have steel? We have 41 steel plates. I guess the uh, LTN train just hasn't gotten to it. Alright, I'll go pick some up. No lube? I think we have the lube. Yeah, we've got lots of lube. 200k. You get some wood from Vitamelange Processing. I used it for bio sludge and then green circuits when I got too much wood. Fair enough. Uh, steel plate. I should have just shoved the ingots that I had into uh, into those machines to break them down. Oh well. This should hopefully keep it going until the train catches up. More trains? Yeah, I think you're right. What the... Oh, this is still one train block. Okay. 
I may as well turn this on. Wait, no. I mean, I will turn it on, but like... There's probably... S oh good, I put filters on these. Thank goodness for that. Otherwise the bots would be making an absolute mess here. I should have realized by the fact that this isn't a complete mess. Okay. And finally, there's our rail signals. I think we are crossing the threshold. Literally blinks by too fast to see it. It's just bottlenecked by the inserters. these chain signals back. Still looking for more. 83. I'm not exactly clear on how the bots are struggling so much here. Chromium solenoids, we're only making... Oh, we need rare metals. really just start bringing up the holmium solenoids that I haven't built on the ground. But I really just want to get all this working. Uh, I'm going to steal some rare metals from here. There's probably plenty. Probably. Our construction train is full. Fantastic. Rare metals. Here we go. I'll be taking that. And let's get to building. Why is there a single requester chest in here? It's not part of the requests. And I thought we set it up to remove anything that's not supposed to be in the train. Oh, there's like 49 in here and one in here. That's not what we're looking for, but I guess it's fine for now. Alright, let's get to building. Um... We'll swing by and drop off these solar panels. And down here as well, please. In case there's anything else. And then over here. Wait for indefinite. Next league is looking better with the manifestos? Manifestos? Oh, for PoE, is it? I forgot that I added a bunch of scaffolding here that I was going to remove the extra up. Oh, I could have... I could have scrounged from this ages ago. Oh, that stings a little bit. Because I added the scaffolding and said I was going to remove the excess... Um, once we figured out how much we actually needed. Okay. Why is this busted? Or is it just not visible?
fairly neat. Or it will do. It looks pretty horrible right now, to be honest. Uh, let me just fly up there. Well, I guess it wasn't... It, it technically wasn't just scaffolding. They really pick this stuff up in the most random order possible. Uh, and this was supposed to be ingots, I think. And once again, for some reason, scaffolding is missing. Under the bulk rail loaders slash unloaders. Lurk away. Um, while this is in construction range, I might update this to say train limit one if everything equals zero. those ahead of time, grab our blueprint, and paste, and I'll copy the combinator settings on. Why are we missing these two bits of scaffolding? Alright, that should be one of these. What? Oh no. Uh, okay. I really should have taken a closer look at that blueprint or remembered that I actually set it up with a specific example instead of like generic. Oh yeah, we can't actually remove. Yes, we can. Wait, why can I remove the scaffolding from underneath a... Uh, a rail signal if I can't do the same thing with a substation? It's kind of weird. Very strange. Okay, we can remove all of that, and all of this. It's gonna bug me if that's left there. That looks pretty tidy. Inventory is crying. It's fine. What the bots on the ground? On on the space ground? How did you set up the deconstructor for only scaffolding? So it is tiles tab, and then look for space platform scaffold, which is a little hard to tell apart just looking at these textures. But, uh, there it is. The main trick is that there's a separate tab for tiles here. 
Fappy Redstone. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yes, indeed, there is a tab. Uh, so this is our new block, right? Hmm. I have an idea. I'm going to limit these to zero. We're going to set even distributions, time limit, very, very high, five seconds. We're going to look at where our iron ingots are. Wait, did I paste this like upside down? as well. No? Uh, whatever the case. And we're going to even distribute like this. Is that going to work? Uh, mostly? I should have put it in here as well. Whoops. Hmm. I could use Spots to pick up items off the ground, but the construction train bots are going to do it. Uh, I could just send the train away. Let's do that. It, it's fine, don't worry. It'll be okay. And front one should be this, back one should be this. Alright. Item on round. Go. And we do the shift C. Drop things in here. Surprised it was allowed to lay the items in open space here. Yeah. Open space behaves sort of like the ground, but not. Uh, you know what? It was only one train load. This is probably easier. Shift C. Shift C. And I think that's everything. Okay, so we have iron, copper, steel, barrel. Uh, up here I would like to have maybe iron, copper again. There were two more types of ingots that I wanted to put up here, I believe. Holmium, iridium. Let's do them down here. This is all me, um, ingot. And this is beryllium ingot. Update. Huh? This one already has the correct... Oh. So I, I did set this up to use beryllium. Except that I forgot to change the station name earlier, I guess. Uh, and instead of steel, this one will be Holmium. There we go. So, I'll do double iron. Double copper. It's ingots, so I'm sure that's overkill. Holmium... Wait, this is already beryllium. Uh, so this should be iridium. Iridium ingot. And iridium plate. And holmium plate. Holmium plate. Okay. The most important thing is the drop-off station names. We can now put the rail back. And 
and let's bring construction train back home. How much more scaffolding is it trying to put in? 40... It's goofy when you remove ground from under spider-trons and they just disappear, yeah. Surprised it was allowed to lay the items in open space. I think the spider-trons should have little jetpacks. I think there might be a mod for that. Even if their acceleration was incredibly slow, I would very much appreciate it. Alright, here's our train. And let's park it over here. Did we get all of our solar panels? Nope, this is the old mess. Where am I looking? Uh, yes, we did get our solar panels. It's fine, no worries. Nope. Okay. Here's our train. I don't think I have it bringing uh, speed modules, but I happen to have 92, so that should be fine. I actually... oh, I haven't given it assembly machines. And that was kind of, as it turns out, the only thing that I sent it for. There is a mod giving Spidertron's jetpacks and uh, recharge stations. Nice. Arknoz, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I said hello to Dardanone, but if just in case, welcome, welcome. Uh, where am I? I'm looking for assembly machines, aren't I? For starters, I think I should put them in the train somewhere. And gimme gimme. Oh, they're in here already. I should have thought of that. Six is not quite as many as I need. They're all in the other block for some reason. Probably because we're not... We are auto-crafting them here. Alright, we're still playing catch-up, I guess. That's not a whole lot. Here we go. And away we go. Still 59% on the research. I wonder what's still busted. Alright, this might need a little bit of a rethink. Um, oh, it would probably help if, if we limited the front here. Fuck me. Messed up. I failed at drinking the liquid. Let's make sure all of these have the 40 stack minimum, or maximum. So, is that going to work out okay? Pushes to the front, takes from the front, pushes into the front. Back can go into the back, can go into the front. Um, probably... Probably fine. D hose, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Not all the white uh, speed modules have. Not all the assemblers have speed modules. Okay. I really don't know how necessary they are, but I'd rather have them than not. How's our power? 
shockingly good. 180 megawatt. Oh, it's only in this area. And we've got all these solar panels. I should probably link it up with the, uh... There's probably more solar down there now than up here. 256 megawatts up here. As opposed to 180 down here, where we're barely using any of it. I'm, I'm actually really liking the amount of electricity that we're getting out of just squeezing solar panels in like this. Okay. I mean, I know it's not going to be enough when we have actual blocks doing the hard work, but still. Um... That shouldn't be beryllium plate. That should be iridium plate. And this one should be holmium plate. These two are fine. I don't mind doubling up on iron and copper. Um... So we need trains for the new two ingots, Holmium and Iridium. Let's start by putting down a train. And I think we've only got one Iridium output. Let's go get our construction train to pay it a visit. Uh, while we're at it, we'll do the... I almost said the beryllium, um, but it's actually holmium that we also need to do, isn't it? We'll get back to that. Holmium goes up here. Ingot. I've actually got three blocks for this, because um, it's kind of slow. How many ingots do we have? Oh, wow, that's a lot. That is a lot of holmium. And it's not just the one block. Nice. Looks like concrete didn't fix research. Yeah, I'm not shocked by this. Um, although, considering that it was just... Uh, material 2 that was missing... I'm a little bit surprised. Where is... Here it is. Material Insights. I think it's just taking its sweet time getting the Material Insights saturated so that the spares go to Material 2. Probably. I think our bottleneck is comprehensive strength. 0.1 per second is needed. And we get... 0.1 per second. It's actually dead on. Um, do we have speeds? We've got some speed 1s. Oh, we've got 21 speed 2s. Let's do that. Mech facility. Speed 2. And research server, I think it's called. This will probably just shift the bottlenecks. I mean, it has to shift the bottlenecks somewhere else. Uh, research facility. Okay, so that'll that'll give us uh, material insight faster. It's at 60% now. It's not stuck. It was just slow. Right. Uh, holmium train and iridium train. Or vanilla train, that is. Okay, this thing only stacks to 20. So... Uh, 120 times 20 is 2400 ingot greater than 
2400. Considering how quick... 45... This is two, two and a quarter stacks per second that this blue belt can move. Um... It might be... It might be better if this was a slower belt. Because it would take a larger reserve to make absolutely sure that... Uh, on, on second thought, a, a, lo a smaller stack size also gets dumped into the train quicker. So it's probably not that bad. Alright. Two train loads required for LTN. Short trains permitted. Um, a train load and a half required for vanilla trains. Set train limit to the resource. And it should be good to go. How full is this part getting? We've still got a few slots left. Alright, ingot. This one and this one. This goes up here. Wait till empty, wait till full, and off you go. And then once more for holmium ingots. Except I need to get the construction train to pay those a visit as well. How about here? And then here. And then here. Five seconds is probably enough. Except the bot will not get back, potentially. Oh wow, it's already at 65%. Didn't didn't I just blink? It was 60% a second ago? It's kind of weird. Oh, is... Yeah, it's because... It's also because this belt had to accumulate insights before some of them got exported to material too. Okay. I don't think I've supplied Iridium over here. No, I did. In fact, well, that's actually steel in the train. Uh, Alright, where is our Holmium Dominators? Holmium ingot greater than uh, 6,000, because it's stack size 50, one train load and a half, make this unconditional, that looks fine to me, set train limit to holmium ingot, and that should just about do it. Now we copy paste this over here. Do the wire things because that part didn't get updated. With the bulk rail loader. And once more. That should do it. So then we need a train. Call me, call me an ingot. Ingot, I said. Remove the template stuff. Move this up here, empty and full. And off you go. I believe it is going to the old Holmium uh, pickup. There we go. I just redirected it by setting train limit to zero. No, it's still 
Wait, what? Train limit is zero, though. There we go. What's your setup to make the green potion through automation? Uh, do you mean like green science from vanilla? It's going to be a bit different with this playthrough because they changed the recipes. Um, quite a lot, actually, with Crastorio. I think this would probably be the equivalent. Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, do we have Iridium ingots up here yet? We do. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. I'm a fan of this. We are getting close to done laying the foundations for a really, really nice space base. All right, what's next? Looks like we've caught up with the scaffolding. Is there anything that needs building over here? Oh, I know. Let's remove any old power poles from this whole mess. Found some. Where are they? Over here. So basically these two blocks. Wait till indefinite. Put in pylon substations. Might want to remove the scaffolding. good. And we need to update these solar panels. Is that the only lot? Nope. Oh, here it is. Have we finally made this whole area nice and neat? I think we might have. A little bit of solar missing over here. Let's go park that away. Beautiful. We need to go up there as well. I guess that'll do. Wait, nope, nope. Oh, we don't have more solar panels right now. Clean up lazy science rocket supply? Um, I might do that off stream. It's gonna be just a just a nuisance, honestly. 
I could make a supply everything. Oh, I know what I can do, actually. No, I'll do what I did over here, which is to say... The request is just switched off, right? Yeah, seems good. Uh, let's add a train stop in this robot network. That's not going to work. How about... about here? It's going to take a while for it to get done, but we're not going to have to do too much directly. Um, how about there? Just wait for inactivity. And we're going to do... Uh, kind of like this. Short train, pick up everything, request a chest. Uh, connect to logistic network. And basically, re wait, what? Oh no, I reconnected this? Wait, wait, what? No, that's, that's what I wanted. It's fine. Get rid of this. To make absolutely sure. And we need power on that combinator. There we go. So our return to mole train is going to pick up all of this stuff. And we're going to end up with an awful lot of junk in the mole. Um, but anything above, I think it's like 200 stacks. Um, can get put back into the rail network. How do you do that? Do which? Oh, so basically I'm reading from the logistic network, everything, and I'm just setting requests on a requester chest, and everything in the requester chest goes into bulk rail loader. Uh, if anything is detected in bulk rail loader, vanilla train stop limit is one, and the train schedule here is just take stuff back to the mall. It's fairly simple, really. Um, the, uh, what are we doing here? Barreling light oil? Um, we're going to have a million light oil barrels anyway. I may as well let it drain this way. And I'll have to automate clearing them out. Uh, we're gonna set this to unconditional. Just empty everything out of the cargo rocket. Not sure why we're still putting things into the cargo rocket. Let's go build those solar panels that we missed. I believe they're over here. It's not just here though. There's also a few down this way. Okay. 89% on... Uh, is it the biggest stack inserter bonus? I think it might be. Until we get super inserters, I guess. Oh, 
Okay. Now, I still haven't decided on the exact layout that I want to go with. I saw Damsel do something like down this way was one type of science, down this way was another type of science, big columns. Uh, I'm thinking since there's mostly just broadly four types of science until we get to deep space, um, doing the four sciences in... wait, aren't there five actually? No. No, there's uh, material, energy, bio, astro. So I was thinking of broadly doing them in four diagonal directions. Deep science, yes. Did you disable resupply for lazy science? I did, and then I resupplied it with rail network, as opposed to cargo rockets. All right, did we finally get all those solar panels placed? Seems like there's nothing here that is waiting to be built. Fantastic. Beautiful. And let's get some steel plate, I guess. I think the next thing I would like to do is to set up uh, train depots. with the um, space trains. And once we've got all that working properly, we'll slowly start replacing all of our old trains. And I'll probably have to go around changing the amount of stuff in various... Uh, like the 40 stack limits on the bulk rail loaders, for example. But it should work just less good, even if I don't do that. I kind of want to go do an outpost or something now, though, after all of that. How many solar panels do we have? Uh, the answer is not yes, but we have quite a few. Products finished. 5,136. Not too bad. Oh, this is only requesting 20. I'll probably change that later. Where would I even go for an outpost at this point? The thing that would change... If I get spaceships, and there are whole two sciences away, oops, I'm trying to look at research, spaceship, we need Astro 3 to get the basic spaceship, Energy 2 we've already got so we can get ion engines, and I'm not going to worry about antimatter engines at this stage, uh, not even really thinking about it, but um... If we can get ion engines with spaceships, it basically just means Astro 3. 1600 science, though. It is not cheap. It's not something we want to do with spaghetti. Um, which means I basically have to start over with all of our space science. But yeah, the thing that would make me put off doing more outposts is the fact that I have to use cargo rockets. And I want to set them up to all use space elevators eventually. Um, it's especially the amount of work that goes into setting up an outpost without the space elevator. I mean, if I did do it with the space elevator at this stage, it would just be 
space elevator and cargo rocket, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. I suppose it would save a whole lot of liquid rocket fuel, but I don't really think that's worth the effort. I ultimately want outposts to basically just be um, uh, core mining drills, some trains, space elevator, and an orbital outpost that is a berth for spaceships. There isn't really an intermediate step between the technology we have to do that and what we have now with our cargo rockets. So Astro 3 is kind of a long way off. The question is, do I want to make more outposts before I go to that trouble? I think... I would have to be enticed by a new resource type, and that's basically just Vitamelange. Vitamelange would give us Spidertrons, though. Um, I believe it's behind Bioscience 1. Yeah, Bioscience 1. It's really quite cheap. Uh, a thousand? That's not that cheap. Bioscience would also give you science product Activity. Hmm. That would probably help. Use them for spaceship in... Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get spaceship with the lazy science block. I think that's... That's a bridge too far. I think getting space elevator with the lazy science block was far enough. Uh, and of course, we'll chip away at all of the nice quality of life stuff behind energy too. Um, but we're basically there at the point. I kind of want to play with this tank. Let's do that next. You know what? Not everything we do has to be productive. Let's uh let's see how how strong this tank is against a planet with a lot of biters. Or well, maybe not swarming with biters. We still haven't cleared out Nalvis, I guess. But I'm just starting to remember just how big Nalvis is. I don't particularly want to drive around on it trying to clear it all out. We don't have access to another planet with, uh, whatchamacallit, with a pyramid, do we? Flags. Where's Granis? Granis doesn't have the flag for a... Uh, for a structure, for one of these. Is it because I've cleared it? Or do, is that just not included in this, uh... in this menu anymore? Configure flags. Okay. Choose flags to display up to four. Visited in person. Cargo landing pad, cargo rocket silo, umbrella. I guess an umbrella is a good indicator that it's one of our outposts. Or a media defense for that matter. Um, we've, we've seen the ruins in Nalvis orbit and the free spaceship over here, but yeah, I can't find a flag for 
mysterious structures. Do I have to unlock something with research or something like that? Could go fix Immersite on Gibbel. Maybe, uh... We've got a few, uh... tedious processes that we could apply ourselves to. I could go and get a hell of a lot more core mining drills on Gibble. We've current... What, where's my search? Core fragment iridite entity. Wow. Uh, there's 35 on this planet. That is significantly more. Uh, but how many drills do we have? Compared to the Vulcanite, that is. On Grenis. Where's my drill? There it is. We've only got five. Discount Engineer, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Hello to you. Minecraft? Alrighty then. How much? We're only getting 12.9 core fragments for Iridite. I could go boost that. Short but reasonably productive. Nice. Um... I'm kind of feeling a little stuck for exactly what I want to do right now. Because, frankly, I've had a, about enough of just expanding this for the moment. I guess I could start just designing some blocks for space science. Doing create above and beyond challenge pack. So it's a bit like Factorio, indeed. El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Takes a minute for this to clear out. It's just repassing every single train in the game 472 times. Nothing to worry about. Design Astro 123 blocks. I could do that. If we have... I guess I could deliver Astro 3 to the lazy science block that we've already got. Uh, I mean, I should probably just design all of the blocks up to that point. Alright, let's go. Uh, first of all... I need to update this rail block right here. Wow, that takes a surprisingly long time. Just to place one block at this point. Okay. We don't need the scaffolding. Since we have... Pylon substations. Let's go with this, and I think that fits here. Flat solar panel. Perfect. And I should already have this somewhere. Nope. All right, let's get some of this crap out of our free inventory. Blueprint that real quick. Tiles included. And snap it in there. Don't forget to put scaffolding. Oh, let me blueprint this. Here. Here, here, and here. Okay. 
and go. All right, this is going to be our new default space rail block. Uh, I think we can just select new contents on this. I'm not used to being able to do that anymore. Island substation with light. Select new contents. Because of the bulk rail loader weirdness, I always have to start from scratch making blueprints these days. All right, and then on top of that, we put... If I just place this on top, is it going to mess anything up? It's probably going to add some scaffolding I don't want. Let's just measure it out. Sorry, going to be a bit of a flying raid. That's fine. Got to head to appointment today. Hope you have a good rest of the stream. Thank you, and thanks for the raid. Good luck with your appointment. And let's go. Um, we're going to have pickup station down here. Oh, it's easy to see where the middle is now. That's nice. Where are my signals? I guess we don't strictly need those two signals unless we're going to add more train stops. Okay, so bulk rail unloader goes here. Uh, let's make it a requester. We're going to need some scaffolding to make that work. And pick up station. Connect our wires. Uh, I'm trying to use the navsat out of habit. There we go. Oh, we need scaffolding under these as well. I think I have to... I think what I have to do here is place the scaffolding underneath first to make the blueprint keep it. Let's stick this out a little bit further for the look of it. Where... Wherefore art thou bulk rail loader that I was just looking at? There it is. So this goes here. That should be fine. Doesn't have to stick out that far. And same thing over here, basically. Yeah, I think it's because I placed the scaffold before placing the bulk rail um, that we had that issue with the blueprints before. That looks pretty good. Okay. We got our default requester, default provider. And I think that's our new blueprint. Let's just start from scratch with this one. Snap to grid. 86251 Pylon Substation 
tiles, train stop names, entities. Please tell me I included the tiles with the last version. Let's find out. Uh, yes, I did. That seems fine. Connect bulk loaders and station. Uh, bollocks. Okay. So we'll remake that again. Didn't give it the proper icons anyway to make it stand out. Alright, pylon sub, uh, flat solar, space rail, it's probably close to what we're looking for, 86251, rotates good, snaps good, and has the right icons for me to find them. Fantastic. Meet the Scorch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I highly recommend this mod, Blueprint Sandboxes. There is SE Sandbox mode like editor extensions. Makes the decon for space scaffolding a breeze. Sounds good. Um, Alright, let's do our first... What is the first thing we want to do in... Space science. Probably the space science pack. Production science pack, utility pack can probably be its own block. We'll see. Should I set a consistent arbitrary target? Instead of just doing how ratios however they fit in the block this time hmm what would be a good target this could do 40 per minute is the normal rail because of the loader yeah uh, the loader actually has the graphic or normal rail, but depending on where it's placed, the space rail does or doesn't cover up those normal rail uh, graphics. And if they are one tile apart here, as the cargo wagons line up, uh, it just so happens that one of them will have space rail covering its graphic, and the other one will not. I do most of my designs with how many factories fit in the block, but with uh, speed modules and beacons it's not really needed. Yeah, I want to be a bit more deliberate this time in that respect. Um, I remember last playthrough, I decided to do, just for like the tier 1 sciences, a main bus base. And I arbitrarily decided, okay, we're going to take the only machine that can make uh, each of these types of science, and which happened to be space manufacturing. And I'm just going to build it, I'm just going to ratio it so that without speed modules in the space manufacturing... Uh, everything else has a good ratio to keep one machine going. That turned out to be way more than expected. That was a huge main bus base. Would not recommend. Still, this one's looking a hell of a lot easier to keep supplied by comparison. Hmm. 
How about... Well, why don't I lay out all of the machines required to make the various sciences? Uh, pack. It's probably easier to look at this with, um... Recipe book. FNEI is nice for looking at one recipe at a time. Okay, researched in, don't really care. Product, unlocked by. How do I get it to show me what um, building it's made in again? Space Science Act 1. Huh? Yeah, there's like... I guess the item and the recipe. Can I get it to just show me the recipes? Show descriptions? No. I don't know. Anyway, what's this made in? Space assembly machine or space manufacturing? Act 1. Unlocked by, don't care. Made in research server, advanced research server. Well, I guess... Research server. I can't really just go ahead and plan for the latest of the late game from the start. Do these have the exact same... Nope, this can do more. As kind of expected. Crafting speed is three times as much. There's double the modules as well. But I guess for now we'll just look at research server we can't prod these things yeah no how long until we get advanced research server uh bio 3 energy 3 material 3 all right forget about that for now How fast is one of these if it's continuous? 24 per minute? Could that be our goal? Astro, bio, energy, mech. Astro, I mean, yeah, astro 2, astro 3. Bio 2, Bio 3, Energy 2, Energy 3, Material 2, Material 3, um, it looks like we get 72 per minute for the tier 3s. Huh. This is actually all... We get double energy, quad energy two, and triple, I mean six times energy pack three. So this is actually all precise ratio. If we only wanted the highest tier. Fascinating. Would it be ambitious to go, at least like for our relatively early uh, base design, would it be ambitious to go for just keeping one of each machine going? Probably. Two hundred and forty beryllium plate per minute. 
That's just for this machine. Okay. I think we'll just go for one of each without speed modules or anything. In our rail blocks, that'll be our, like, first draft to go up to the tier threes. Alright, let's start with Astro what? Wait, no. First we have to do Space Science Pack 1. Which can actually be done in a space assembly machine. Forty per minute. Wasn't the tier three uh seventy seventy two per minute? So if a research requires this and this it would be bottlenecking on the space science pack. What kind of rate do my blocks... Well, we can tweak them with uh, beacons and such. Okay, that's way more than enough. Yeah, the science blocks I've already got are more than big enough. Okay, I think for our first one we'll probably go for a pair of these. Maybe that's super overkill, we're gonna find out. Um, we'll have to make the space transport on the spot. Uh, or I could make it with this. What kind of rate are we looking at there? Way more than enough. Space transport belt. This one's negative. I'm sure it's more UPS friendly if we have fewer machines. Uh, this, this, and this can all come from the rail network. Cosmic water... We'll probably put in the rail network. Pretty sure we did that before. Don't see why I wouldn't. Cosmic water. All the things it goes into. Quite a lot, actually. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be making it on the spot. So, I guess I could do a block for Cosmic Water. How do we make it, though? Uh, water and Lubricant. That's the only, like, normal way to make it. Decontamination Facility... I guess we'll fit this around a wide area beacon. Not that we'll need it for quite a while, but it makes it scalable. How should I fit this together? Like that. Should be more than enough. How fast is this? 240 per second. Not as much as I thought. We can make it faster though. Oh, wait. The inputs are a bit weirder than I realized. So these have to be apart. Hmm. Can I not do the symmetry? How do the symmetry? I don't think there's going to be a perfect way to do it. Hmm. 
Alternatively, the water could look like that. How much water does it use? Uh, it's mostly water. So we should use the lubricant input as the one that has the worst pipe layout. And these can go like this, but then, so that's 1.5 pipe units per input, or rather three per machine. Hold up, this is seven tiles, isn't it? We do it like this. Might not be too bad. That obviously goes too far. That's looking pretty neat, though. Alright, so the most we can get is 6 by 2 on each side. And... How f well does that fit? Not very. That's okay. So this will be every seven tiles as well. I guess I could do this, perhaps. Can I connect that? Like so. Let me guess, that doesn't reach. Yeah. I don't think there's a super neat symmetrical way to do it. Also, the amount of cosmic water that comes out. Probably won't be that much, but if we beacon it up, we might actually want to support this with pumps. Let's figure out what it looks like with the maximum tier of beacons. Because we really are at the point where I want to design for... easy upgrade later on. Um, so we need some tier 9s, actually. I do prefer to have a few efficiencies, just so that... we don't have to generate nearly as much power. I guess it's more UPS friendly to just go speed modules, though. 3.2k per second. That's pretty fast. Power consumption is... plus 3,500%. We could probably slow that down a little bit. Power consumption looks to be normal. So this right here should be minimum, and this is normal. Okay. So we're looking at 2,500 per side, 252 lubricant, tw 20, 25,000 water? I don't think we should be trying to deliver that much to one rail block, actually. 25k water per second, that's, uh... Uh, 250 ice per second? It's a stack and a quarter per second, so... 200 times 80... Uh, it's a train every 64 seconds. On the other hand, we're probably never needing 2.5k cosmic water. Wait, was that just half of it, though? Yeah, I think it was. I think we'll just build it like this and, like... 
when we get beacons that are that crazy, we can just trim it down a bit. If we really want to. Can't fit a pump there. It's really just water that needs the big throughput, right? Yeah. Okay. That looks like a pretty good fit to me, though. Uh, how much output for each? 1.26k. We should probably have a pump or two in there. Um, but again, this is like max speed that we'll ever go. Steel pump. Hmm. How can I best fit this in? Oh, can I fit some huge storage tanks? No, they're slightly, slightly wider than beacons. Also slightly smaller than these uh, buildings. Oh, what about uh, large storage tanks? I mean, I guess that's just another way of doing three Bs. Also, they're not going to be symmetrical here or anything. So each of these is seven tiles. If I put this here, one of these over here, we're going to need like... I need an underground over this way. Oh, this thing's not going to be in the middle either. Freebie. Like this. Kind of like the look of that. And a pump maybe here. Maybe another one down here for good measure. We have a five. Oh, that's a seven, actually. Uh, and we're obviously not going to have bulk rail this time. I wonder what that little thing on the ground was. Huge storage tank. Right about here, I think. Oh, we need a uh, lubricant and water. Much less lubricant, so we'll do the slower input this way. That'll be lube. That'll be water. Alternatively, I could drop off ice. That might be a lot better, actually. Since with this version, we've got the electric boilers that melt ice. 400 per second. Uh, we'd need an awful lot of those to keep up. Uh, isn't it also possible to use... This uses 5.1 megawatt. I know energy is pretty free in space, but it's not total. Where is our... It's rather big, but we can use this to melt ice ridiculously quickly. 1.6k per second. That would be two of these on each side. That's too much. Well, actually, if I put sp speeds in there... That's 6k per second. Jeez. 
and a couple of efficiencies. It's at minimum power. 4.8k per second. Ice sounds like a reasonable idea. Also, keep in mind, the products made with this gel are never really consumed. You can almost always recycle it. Bye, cow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for the eight months. Um, yeah, that's true that uh, cosmic water does come back. Not as much as bio sludge. Uh, well, maybe kind of as much as bio sludge. I can't really remember what sort of overall throughput that we end up with with uh, cosmic water. I just sort of want to build something that's nice and big and future proof and fits perfectly with a wide beacon. If I recall correctly, it's same as bio sludge, but less than thermofluid. Indeed. Yeah, I, I do remember cosmic water consumption being kind of slow. So this is like super overdoing it, no doubt. We could probably cut off like... I've actually got more space on the side as well. So we don't have to build around the white beacon this way. Yeah, we've got we've got plenty of room actually. Horizontally. So if I move this over a tile or two. Beacon still covers all of it. Um, a pair of these sounds kind of good to me. Could put a pump here since it produces so fast. How does that... All oh, right. So we could have the seven tile connector like this all the way down. Or alternatively, even straight into huge storage tanks that pump into each other. Except this one wouldn't be able to work like that. Yeah, I don't like that one as much. I do want to be able to have a huge amount of storage so that we can bring stuff back. Uh, and like thermofluid, only produce when we're getting low. Could play around with the layout of this for a while. Two point five K cosmic water, one point six. Uh how about we have this under the beacons as well? So bring that forward. Don't do it like that. And same number of speed modules when we get ridiculous. Assuming we ever need to go that far. Uh, that is... Wait, what? That's consuming 20k? That's pretty over the top. 
How much does this normally consume without anything? 594 water per second from one machine. I think we don't need half as many of these machines to go completely over the top, actually. So, really, the question is how we do a nice layout, uh, especially with trains dropping off recycled thermofluid. Uh, not thermofluid. You know what I mean. Cosmic water. So here we'll have... I might just get that out of the way. Oh yeah, I was going to do ice here. Because it's just that... We've already got ice up here, and it's just going to be that much more... Uh, stack dense. Much more train efficient. What? Oh yeah, I need some scaffolding. And we'll need some for the bulk rail. Look. Oh right, I forgot we have to move around these because we weren't going to have to here. All right, bulk rail loaders, scaffolding. Why is it acting like? Never mind. Remove these. Put the scaffolding in. We'll drop off ice. We will melt the ice. Not with that. I'm thinking just one of these per block is probably enough. And if we need to go faster than that, we should split it up into more blocks so that the train traffic to one spot isn't that crazy. So, inserters? That'll be ice. Uh, lubricant goes in here. We can at least make it a little bit more efficient compared to on the ground with the extra pipe segments. How fast are we going to go through lubricant here? 1 to 10 compared to the cosmic water output. I don't think we have to worry about it. It's okay if it unloads a little bit slowly. All right, could we perhaps build this around this thing? Not getting the super tank to go fighter baiting? Uh, not today, I think. I don't think we have time. Actually, it's about time to finish up. Um, I need to think about where I want our train to drop off used up thermofluid. I'm hoping I can come up with something a bit cleaner, especially with our huge storage tanks and stuff, uh, compared to some of the thermofluid recycling we had last time. I'm sure we can. I should probably do thermofluid Recycling drop-off and pick-up on the side over here. I keep saying thermofluid, I actually mean cosmic water. So, for instance, cosmic water, big container here. 
and one down here. Uh, we probably want a lot of big containers here so that the train can always drop something off. And one big container that we pump everything into. Um, I guess I could do double pumps like this. Looks kind of weird. It looks a little better, even if it's arguably a waste of storage space. Uh, but yeah, that is 4, 8, 16, uh, 24, th uh, 24 train loads of cosmic water storage. And I only want to actually produce... I could control like these inserters or a pump somewhere. But I only want to actually produce cosmic water up to, say, keeping this container full. Um, I suppose I could put more storage over here. Or I could do something that uses up the whole block instead of the usual... Um, trying to just use a half block. Well, I'll have a think about it. We're getting into the more interesting builds now. Let's have a look at who is streaming Factorio today. Factorio Minesweeper Madness. Uh, no one doing the SE Endor K2, I guess. You know, it's, I think it's been a minute since I raided Tumbling. Let's say hello. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Take care, Evil Pla, El Pancho. Thanks for hanging out. Have a nice day to you as well. Thanks, Data Gnome. Take care. Uh, Maverip, thank you for the follow. So tomorrow we'll be continuing with Terraria. Uh, wherein I'm actually doing... For the worthy for the first time and i have no trust whatsoever in anything because for example trees and pots drop bombs and the average monster hits 10 times as hard um so that's going to be fun I'm, I'm as usual i'm going to be doing that without building any boss fight arenas if i can't do it without doing that uh then i will not finish it i guess but, yeah. Down with boss fight arenas. They're boring. So there. Uh, after that, a couple of days, we'll be going back to Long War of the Chosen. Wherein we've only had a couple of soldier deaths. Two or three, I think. And after that, oxygen not included, then back to Factorio. Game, it just works. Hello, Ren Momo. Welcome. How are you? Oh. Hacks. I call Hacks. Welcome on in, Hacks. How are you doing? Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome on in, everyone. 